返したい You should use your credit card and treat yourself to a McDonald's. Can't afford McDonald's anymore. I'm broke. Let me talk to ya. Reunion live stream with KC soon. Yeah. I messaged Hong Kong guy yesterday, but he didn't reply. It says this account cannot open your message because he doesn't accept messages from strangers. So I don't know if he even knows that I'm interested in meeting. Or if he ever checks his messages, so I don't know if anyone can get in touch with him. I see if we can do a reunion, but I feel like he's gonna ignore me, like the other one did. I can't believe all the side characters ignoring the main character now. How the tables have turned. I wanted to get some OG characters back on. And then one of them freaking reports me to the funeral. Yeah, stupid blood battery. <laughs> Do you think Hong Kong guy would meet up? I said to him, I would like to apologize for my actions and treat you to a meal. And the viewers would like to see you again. I contacted him on IG and he says he would be down after the 23rd when he's back in Osaka. He checks his messages at night since he's away from Osaka at the moment. Don't worry, he says to contact him when you can. I contacted him yesterday, last night. You'd make a great fit with Chris and Connor, your dynamic would be hilarious. I don't know. I feel like me and Connor had a little thing during that interaction, but my, the problem is my reputation is too damaged. God, my face is going all orange. Put sun cream on my hands as well. We're going on a very long trek today. I hope you're ready. What does Hong Kong guy even do? If he's away from Osaka, doing what? Inspecting the noodle factory. Yeah, it'd be cool if Hong Kong guy met up with me. I think we go to like Izakaya or Yakiniku and then we chat, have a catch up. And I can apologize for how I treated him. And then maybe we can be friends again.
I saw a little clip of the Chris and Connor stream where Chris looked kind of pissed at Paul. You know Paul, the cameraman? They were having lunch in a restaurant and then Paul was sitting there chatting to some other people. And then Chris was like, uh, what did he say? Time to do a bit of filming maybe? And then he had like this passive aggressive body language. I bet having Chris as your boss sucks. Okay, I'm ready. I need to pack my bag. Oh my god. <coughs> Why do you want to hang out with Hong Kong guy? You said you didn't want to hang out with guys. Hong Kong guy isn't just a guy, he's the Hong Kong guy. He's like a famous guy. Everyone knows Hong Kong guy. Uh, I don't mind hanging out with guys if they're not weird. Uh, just like that, I don't know. There was another guy who wanted to meet me, but I didn't want to meet him because he's kind of weird. Hong Kong guy's not weird. He's just... I don't know. He's not, like, creepy weird. He's a bit weird, but not, like, in a weird, creepy way. And I would like to have more people to meet for streams. And I think he could be good if he can forgive the way I treated him before. I have changed.
don't know if I bring the big charger. Mm, I think I don't need the big charger. I can just use my normal one. <laughs> Never trust one of these stream titles. <laughs> yeah, basically. The stream title is just to get you to click it. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. I wish I could just title the stream about what I'm actually going to do today, but I know if I did that, you won't click it. So, don't blame me. Blame the game. I mean, don't blame the player. Blame the system. The heater, what else do I need? I don't get it. Is the HK guy the Hong Kong guy? Like, KC? Daniel hates KC. I am confused why he suddenly changed his mind about him. Daniel is acting different lately. Is he in desperado mode to stop his channel from fully dying or something? No, I don't hate Hong Kong guy. It was a bit annoying when he teamed up with my enemy. But I don't think it was his fault. He was just being a good friend. Now she's out of the picture, maybe we can be friends again. And yeah, I'm pretty desperate for content. <laughs> you guys are going to get bored of me just endlessly walking to nowhere. Can't really use Sunny anymore. Because she doesn't want to upset my girlfriend. And then Blood Bucket. Uh, I don't really know what else to do with Blood Bucket. Need some fresh meat. Okay, what else do I need? I've only got one pot noodle left. Tell us where you'll stream meeting Hong Kong guy, because I'm not meeting him. He hasn't even replied to me. Uh, what else do I need? I'll meet him if he replies. What are we doing? It's a secret. I'll explain later. Maybe I'll unplug this. I'm just trying to think if I need my big charger. I've got my small one. It should be enough to charge stuff overnight. I get charger anxiety and when I was at Blood Bucket's house I didn't have my special charger and she had this cheap low powered one it wasn't enough to keep my stuff powered that's why the stream died okay I think I'm ready Uh, maybe 
maybe I'll bring my spray. I think she's busy today. She's got some guest coming over. I don't know. Okay. I'm ready. Is it streaming? Stupid thing disconnected. Testing. Yeah, I'll take everyone's silence as a yes. Thanks so much for helping me. Not. Well, it said no connection, then it was reconnecting, so I got worried. Okay, let's go. Got a very exciting day planned. I think you're gonna love it. Oh my god, it's so windy every day. What is wrong with Japanese weather? So today, we're going to walk all day. Maybe get a bicycle if I can't walk anymore. But I'm going to try it and walk all the way. How good does that sound? Yeah, I thought so. The weird thing I noticed is the streams where I'm just walking and talking, they get way longer watch time than when I'm with someone. But the ones where I'm with someone get more views. So it's either one or the other. I'm gonna take you on a day out to nowhere. 
No, not really. I booked a hotel in Kyoto. Bit in a walk there. So, the reason why I booked a hotel is because I'm actually running out of shampoo. And then when I went to the shop to get shampoo, shampoo's expensive. It's like a couple thousand yen just for a normal shampoo bottle. So I thought, I thought I'd just book a hotel and then steal the shampoo there. So I get free shampoo and a night in Kyoto. What do you think? I also need more toothpaste. Good idea. The hotel room's like 6,000 yen. If I was gonna buy toothpaste and shampoo, it would cost me nearly half that. Genius idea. I've been using the Apple Hotel shampoo for over a month. But, I've, oh damn, I forgot my bottle that I was gonna put the shampoo in. It's okay, we'll just buy a new bottle. It's not stealing, because I paid for it. Everything that can be consumed in the room is yours, because you paid for it. You can't take physical stuff, but you can take liquids and coffee. That's all mine, if I pay for the room. Might get a new toothbrush as well. Just buy shampoo, I swear, sham I'll go into a shop if I see one. I'll show you how much shampoo costs. And maybe it's like 600 yen for the refill packet. So we've got 50 kilometers to walk. I might cheat and get a bicycle if I'm too tired, but I'll try. I think we'll just exhaust ourselves, walk as much first. And then when I can't walk anymore, I'll just give up and get a bicycle for the remainder. I could probably do 25 kilometers. That would get me halfway. And then the other half I might do on the bicycle. Oh, I nearly thought I forgot my GoPro strap, but it should be in my back. And then we can chat on the way. I've done 25 kilometers, 50 should be easy. It's just double. Walking time estimate, yeah, maybe like 10 hours, which means we'll get there hopefully around 10 p.m. And then stay the night and then explore Kyoto tomorrow and then probably get the train back. I also have no money. I've got like 1,000 yen. So yeah, I need to go to a supermarket, get a discount bento. Yesterday night, I got this really cheap bento from the supermarket. It was 430 yen, but it was 30% off. So it was only 300 yen, $2. It was okay as well. Apart from the fish, it was just full of bones. I've got nine days until I get my YouTube money. So I got to ration carefully. Stupid YouTube money, I hate, take, hate, hate the way it takes a month until I actually get the money. Just give it to me straight away. Stupid YouTube. Are you run a, running away from Blood Bucket? No. so desperate to ride on the footpath, you have to squeeze in there. Just go down the fucking road, oh my god. Why are they so scared of riding on the road? A completely empty road here. And they'd rather squeeze in between me and the edge of the footpath. Weird. Title the stream, Walking from Osaka to Kyoto. Yeah, then no one will click it. I know what you guys are like. You'll be like, oh, walking, boring. 
But if I put I'm sad and lonely, you'll click it and be like, oh wow, Daniel broke up with his girlfriend. Yeah, she dumped me, guys. It's over. She found my gay porn stash. My life is ruined. I hate my life. I'm an incel again. Oh my god. Why is life so hard? Why everyone hate me? That's what you guys like, isn't it? I know what you like. Yeah, she broke up with me just now. She said she wants a real man with 200k a year who owns a Tesla and a car. Do you think a Hong Kong guy would actually meet up though? As long as he doesn't get upset that I'm using him for content. It is kind of like that, but also it would be fun to see him again. Bit of both, you know. Have a reunion. Put things right, and also make some content and donos. Why can't we just have our cake and eat it? I wonder if this is going to overheat again. If it overheats, I'll have to go back to my other plan. Should be fine. Oh wow, thanks, Ben Jack. Yeah, my hardcore stash that I keep under my pillow. Busted. Damn, my hand, hands are sweaty. Already. I might have to take my jacket off. It's pretty hot. So what can we do in Kyoto? I'm not going to go all to all the temples again, I've already been there. I want to see if there's anything there I haven't seen yet. Stream is what? Me? Fine. Oh. Rent a costume. No thanks. I think we just walk around and not talk to anyone and then get McDonald's. And then sit in the hotel room. Blood bucket kicked me out. When the gay Japanese guy comes to meet you, would you get hard while looking at his bum again? Would you Maybe. want to see his willy too? I have this feeling he's not actually going to come though. Don't know, it's just a feeling. He said he can come in June, but I said I'm not going to be here in June. So he said he'll try and move his schedule around. How can you be completely busy for almost two months? I don't understand Japanese people. They're always so damn busy. Like you arrange a date and then they can't meet until three weeks later or something. Because they only got one day off or something. That's why it's so annoying trying to date women here. They're always so fucking busy. The whole life is just work, 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 work. I'm probably the least busy person in the whole world. I've got nothing to do, so I just walk all day for no reason. But I'm kind of fed up with this place. Oh my god. I'm kind of fed up with this place, so I want to go somewhere new. Stupid butterfly nearly flew into me. Yeah. I want to go somewhere new. 
get a change of scenery. I'm so fed up with this place, it's boring. Stupid guest house. Yesterday I didn't do anything. I woke up at 11. Then I woke up, had coffee, I just sat there watching um, Chris and Connor Have you cycling. About the gay Japanese guy before and it turned you on? Did you fap off thinking of the time he gave you a little billy suck at the park? Yeah, sometimes. Wait, let me change the audio. It's probably peaking. I forgot to put it back. Is it better now? Yeah, yesterday I watched Chris and Connor finish the live stream thing. And then I fell asleep around 5 p.m. I woke up at 7, I think. I was so bored, I just fell asleep. Couldn't believe it. Usually I don't take naps, but I just, oh my god. Didn't know what to do at all. Sometimes it's more fun to just fall asleep and have a weird dream. Please answer my gay question moment to her, Daniel, and please explain. What gay question? I'm tired already. At least you're outside. Yeah, I would never do this in Manchester because number one, I couldn't figure out how to get good internet. Number two, I was really scared someone was gonna come up to me. Number three, everywhere looked boring. And I couldn't be bothered. There's nothing to do in Manchester. You just walk around. There's no like big castle or big cathedral, there's like nothing. Everyone just says Manchester has loads of great clubs and bars. I don't care about clubs and bars. I want a nice place to walk around where I feel safe. Not a stupid weird club or stupid live music. Imagine caring about live music. I don't even listen to music. Last time I listened to music was in Thailand when me and my girlfriend went on a road trip and then she put music on. Have you thought of the gay Japanese guy before and got turned on? Also, have you fapped off thinking of the time he gave your Willie a little suck at the park? Uh, maybe if I'm like really struggling to get one off and women, they're not really doing the job, then I switch to gay mode. Sometimes you get women fatigue. How do you not like music? It's boring. It's just like a load of random sounds going beep, 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 beep. I don't understand how people love music. Yeah, it's okay sometimes to have on in the car. But if I'm just doing nothing, I'd rather listen to nothing than listen to music. I don't like how music makes you feel. It either makes you feel sad or makes you feel like, let's go. I don't want my emotions to be influenced by sound. So I never listen to music. Should I just get a bicycle? <laughs> no, I'm not tired yet. I can do another. I should be able to do at least five hours walking before I need to get a bicycle. Lol, is what you just said about women fatigue actually true, or are you just trying to panda to your gay viewer? No, sometimes I do get bored of women, and I need something else to get me off. But it doesn't last long, then I go back to women. Women are still the best. Do you like watching the gay guys really going in and out of a bum hole? Do you get turned on by that? Yeah. I like it when the ball sacks touch. I used to listen to Powerwolf a lot when Mila dumped me. 
but it just made me feel really emotional so I stopped listening if to music. If music is so boring then why do you whistle the same effing tune all the time? I like to whistle but that's not music. It's just like whistling a tune. That's like a um, marching band tune, it motivates you to walk faster. That's why they play that music. It was to motivate the troops. It actually does make me walk faster when I whistle the marching band stuff. See, it kind of makes your steps go faster because you're trying to keep in, in tempo with the beat. I might have to take my jacket off. It's pretty hot. I like marching band music because it it's designed to be uplifting. Not all mopey and sad. I make music, I don't con consume it. I put on Lord of the Rings lo-fi beats once and it just really bummed me out. <laughs> Don't know why, it made me feel really melancholic. Didn't like it. Would you want the gay Japanese guy to lick your nipples next time and give your balls a little choke? What will you like him to do for you? I don't know. Whatever he wants. Very dirty mind. I don't know what happened to Blood Bucket. She was saying she had to go to the police station or something. She was telling me about it when I was at her house. She said someone she knows went missing. I guess it's okay to talk about it. She's tweeting about it too. She said someone she knows went missing and then he was in a police station. So she went there to check up on him. That's nice, I guess. I wouldn't bother, to be honest, if it was me. Be like, well, that's your own fault, isn't it? But that's probably why people say I'm not nice. What is scoliosis? Is that what Sam Pepper has? The thing with the shoulder. Okay, so first objective, we gotta to get to the river. That's when we bank north. And currently, we're going east. I feel full of energy after doing nothing yesterday. I also gotta be careful with how I step. Depends where I put pressure on my foot joints when I take a step. I think my walking technique is not the best because my left big toe knuckle joint was like bruised or something. I need to disperse the weight more evenly when I step. I've got a good pace right now. Ju ju ju. Don't know how you can walk all day and listen to yourself talk. Well, I can't play music because I'm streaming. I wouldn't play music anyway because I don't like disturbing people. The pineapple pizza lady shouldn't be contacting Cami at all if she reported you to Domino's and don't want anything to do with you anymore. She has no right to contact your family either. 
Yeah, I said to my mum, you should be mad. Someone trying to get your only son arrested. You better be showing some anger. Because I didn't do anything wrong. Literally just walking. And not doing anything. I think I put too much weight on my left big toe when I take a step. Well, at least my mum's gonna let me borrow some more money so I can pay my tax penalty. I don't have to sell my stocks. The stock market should be interesting today after what happened over the weekend. I can't believe they shot down nearly all of the drones and missiles. I think a few got through, but they didn't really do much. But I think it was all planned. It was all planned to not do anything. Oh my god, that butterfly is disgustingly big. Like a bird. I think it's all for show. This stuff's all scripted. Nothing happens naturally, spontaneously. It's all just like a big scripted drama show. It's all just for show. Don't get excited. The market won't even barely move. I think Israel is not allowed to retaliate. America said no. Shouldn't go into more debt if you don't have to. Well, I'm Why trying not to. Why does she insist in still trying to contact Cami if she doesn't want anything to do with you and wanted you arrested? I don't know. She should be moving on instead of staying in contact with your family. That's harassment. I don't know how long unfair. my mum's been in touch. Okay, let me check the map. As long as we follow the expressway, we should be on track. God damn, this is so far away. I don't know if I can do this. I'll give it a bash. Jeebus. Google Maps is saying it's 11 hours, 49 kilometers. We can do it before my battery bank runs out of battery. What if I just get the bus? going to walk for 11 hours. I'm probably going to collapse after 5 or 6. I wish and then I have to get by school. Ducky Jr. was there in Israel so that he could get bombed. He's gay and got yellow fever. Maybe next year I get the international driving permit and we just rent a car. And then I'll just live in the car. <laughs> I won't book a hotel or guest house next year. I'll just live in the car. That would be pretty funny. Don't need to cook. I haven't done any cooking. Bentos are so cheap, like two dollars for one bento. I could have two bentos a day and it only costs hundred and twenty dollars a month if I had it every day. If I biked there, how long would it take? Probably four or five hours. Biking is usually four times faster than walking, so I think probably three hours. Um, but then I have to pay for the bicycle. I think it would be like a thousand yen for, for one hour. No, for three hours on the bicycle, probably a thousand yen. We'll see how I feel in a few hours. Maybe someone can give me a lift. Buy a bicycle, 
No, I won't use it enough to make it worth buying. The cheapest bicycle would be about 10,000 yen. I'm not biking every stream like before, because it's not a good way. I can't read the chat whilst biking. So I have to pay attention to the traffic and stuff. I can only read the chat when I stop at a red light. But there are quite a lot of red lights, so maybe it's not too bad. Oh well, thanks, gay. What content. would you do if you were to wake up and gay Japanese guys while he was flopping in front of you? I don't know, if I was half asleep, then I wouldn't really be overthinking anything. Just do it. Being half asleep after you just wake up is basically the same as being drunk. You don't even know what's going on. Half the time. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, what's going on? Where am I? Oh yeah, I'm in stupid guest house in Japan again. I saw this girl in the kitchen living room yesterday, last night. She was kind of cute. I didn't see her face though. She looked Japanese, I think. She had a very small frame, a tied up hair, in a tiny ponytail. She was eating a bento with chopsticks. She's wearing a woolly knitted cardigan. Might have been Chinese, but I think she was Japanese from her mannerisms. Didn't see her face because I was standing behind her. But there was this other guy. He wasn't with her. They were, there were just two people there, eating separately. I thought it'd be weird if I started talking to the girl, but ignored the guy. I still don't recognise anyone from the guest house. Every time I go down there, it's different people. So there's no sense of continuity, apart from the American guy. Meaningless has a date today. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen. Would you go into the hot steamy shower room with the gay Japanese guy and would you take turns washing each other? Yeah, wash his butt crack with my tongue. Delicious. I've got a date too. In Kyoto. Not. Definitely not meeting anyone in Kyoto. Definitely just walking there for no reason. <laughs> Make it stop. Make what stop? The gayness. Yeah, I'm trying my best to try and get content, but it's hard. The gay guy can't come quickly. Hong Kong guy is not replying. You know who just outright blocked me and then did the thing that you know about. What else? We've kind of exhausted Sunny. And maybe exhausted Blood Bucket. Maybe in like a week or something, meet her again. But I can't do too many streams with her, but because people get bored. Sunny doesn't want to stream just the two of us because she doesn't want to upset my girlfriend. There's that sleepover thing at Blood Buckets we're doing on the 26th. But that's a long way away. And also I've got to plan a trip to Tokyo because my girlfriend's coming in May. Before I leave Japan, she's going to come and we're going to do a trip. Maybe we'll do a stream together, I don't know. Might just do a vlog. Ugh, I just spat everywhere. <laughs> Go to Tokyo. Go to Sky Tree, Shibuya, Meiji Shrine. Oh, 
where else can we go? Uh, Yokohama can go there. Maybe go to Mount Fuji as well. And then maybe get the bullet train back to Osaka. Because I got to get my plane from Osaka International in June. Then I've got to go to China, then fly 12 hours back home. Back to Londonistan, my favorite country. The end of Daniel's travels. We went to Thailand, Vietnam, Japan twice, now back home. Where I have to save up money to pay my mum back £9,000. Oh my god. I think I focus on video game stuff. I should be able to make £1,500 a month. And then I'll just give everything to my mum every month. Anything I make, I'll just give it all to my mum so I can pay her off quickly. And then rebuild my finances. Hopefully World War 3 starts and my gold stocks go to the moon. If my gold stocks go to the moon, like 50% gain, I'd probably sell off a bunch to help pay my mum. But really, I'm not in a huge rush because I think I should be able to make enough money to pay off my mum, my credit card, before the beginning of next year, which is when I'll start planning some new trips. I'm thinking Thailand, Malaysia, Japan. I'm not sure which order to do it. Maybe because I want to try living in Malaysia for 90 days and then Japan again. I'm not sure what to do next time. I'm already out of ideas just being here for a month. I think the first few weeks the content was pretty good but now I'm just kind of running out of steam. And not enough people to meet up with. I thought maybe I put a post on some social media website saying that I'm a live streamer looking for people who want to live stream in Osaka. Where in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. You can get a really nice condo in Kuala Lumpur on hotel websites for just a couple hundred pounds a month. Kitchen, everything's included, 50 square meters swimming pool in the middle of Kuala Lumpur so it's pretty damn cheap why does someone leave their shoes in the car park it's so weird look there's just a pair of shoes there oh McDonald's should we get McDonald's yeah Kuala Lumpur is really cheap and maybe it's nice if you just stay away from the crappy parts I think Bukit Bintang is the nice area. I'll just get a condo there for a few months. Experience life in Malaysia. I don't know if I do IRL. I guess it's safe, I'm not sure. Might just do room streams. I'm not sure about next year. McDonald's. And also I want to get back to Thailand eventually. I'm not sure how though. Can I do another student visa? I'll learn Muay Thai. If I just go to Thailand without a visa, I can stay for... Hmm, I forgot. I think they give you... Was it 60 days? And then you can extend it up to 75. I think the max you can get is 75 days without a visa. If you go to immigration and extend it. 30 days? Oh, I must have gone 30 days and then I extended it to 75 days. I'm not sure if I can get another student visa. What do you think? Go back to the same school again and restart from level one? Might as well, I forgot everything. I don't even know how to say everything in Thai. Took 
I know took one is every day, so it'd be took something. Took. Took. I don't know. I don't even know the tones and stuff anymore. I probably sound like an idiot. I probably sound like Chris Broad when he speaks Japanese. He's like, Mohitotsu kudasai. Omori desu. Hi. Onegaishimasu. Did you see Chris snap at his cameraman? <laughs> it was such a random clip. It was like, uh, uh, time to film something maybe? Paul, Paul, uh, time to film something maybe? And then he did this stupid, like aggressive body language, head tilt with his arms, you know, like the splayed out hands. Chris must be such a shit boss. Can't even let the guy have a little break and have some lunch. Paul, time for film, maybe? Film what? You're just sitting in a restaurant eating food. What's there to film? Chris just seems pissed off all the time. He doesn't seem like good company. He just moans all the time. I wonder how much he pays this cameraman. He must be paying him hourly. Because it's not like they do these... I don't know. Do you think he pays him a yearly wage? An annual wage? Salary? Or do you think he just pays him part-time? Chris never films his own stuff. He's always in front of the camera. So someone has to hold it. $100 an hour? I don't know if that's a lot or nothing. Seems a bit selfish if the boss is a multi-millionaire. Come on, $200 an hour would be more like it. I want to get away from this road, it's so damn loud. Should I just walk on the motorway? <laughs> a police car pulls up, stops me. Are you intimidated me. by the meteoric rise to fame being experienced by your top competitor? Meaningless rubbish? meteoric rise to fame yeah well he might get some views now but see how it goes six years can he keep it up for six or seven years doing the same topics over and over again I doubt it YouTube is a marathon not a sprint Oh, Tesla. Nice. How many views does he get? If he can get a hot girlfriend and show her on camera, then yeah, his channel would be huge. He'd be like that ugly guy. That never give up ugly guy who got a hot wife. People like an underdog story where they root for the main character, the main character overcomes challenges, and then they feel inspired by his success story. People got bored with me because I stopped trying, I guess. I just kind of gave up and settled. People wanted me to be like the guy, I mean in the beginning I was like a weird guy. You couldn't get a girlfriend and then somehow I got a Japanese wife. But then I got all crazy, didn't I? I think people would have preferred it if I just stayed married and I was a good husband. Then we had kids. But there was just too many temptations. Well, look all the buses. That's why people liked the whole marriage stuff. Because it was like a wholesome, inspirational story. But it turned dark real quick. But people were saying stuff like, okay, now we got the happy ending, time to end the anime. People just wanted an end. They wanted the ending to be like, oh, I got married and now we're happy together. 
but I don't want an end. I want it to keep going. I've got to make money, you know. I think a better alternate ending would have been I start a business like that other guy. That there's a streamer, Canadian, I think. His name's Rooty. His Twitch was called Hey Ruby. He used to live stream around Osaka 2017. But then he met a woman, got married, opened a bar. The bar does pretty well. And then he just quit streaming. That would have been a nice alternate ending as well. If I started some business, I didn't need YouTube anymore. Coin laundry. I want to get a, a parking lot. What's this guy? I see place. Construction worker. A construction worker has an umbrella. <laughs> Look. Yuki Toman. Can I go this way? Is Kami ashamed of you being gay and have a history of doing hardcore gay things for your gay only fans and being no, up? My mum loves gay people. She would be so proud. Can I go this way? Check the map. <sighs> yes. Should I get married with Thai girlfriend or become gay with a Japanese guy? Why do you want me to be gay so much? I don't get it. Going on here. I think if I actually became gay, I'd lose a lot of viewers. You think it's lame? What is this place? Oh, it smells weird. I need to cross this, whatever this is. I really hope there's a bridge, otherwise, I will turn back. <laughs> What? This looks kind of shady. Uh, what is that? Like an open sewer. What? Oh yeah, I can. I can go along this, get back on the road. Oh wow, thanks Ben. You do know you've done a lot of hardcore gay things, right? Why with... are you still denying that you're not either gay or bi? I haven't done it with real men though, I've just done it by myself. That's like saying I had sex with a lot of women when I just jerked off. <laughs> Blood Bucket believes everyone's a little gay. Yeah, it's like, um, even a meaty, even a meat lover can be a vegan if you disguise the vegan food as meat. Why do you think they have vegan sausages? Oh my god, it stinks here, what the hell? Oh, what? Oh, this is like, disgusting, dank swamp. It's probably got dead fish in it. It's weird. So if you disguise the guy as a woman, I think most straight guys wouldn't mind banging it. Just pretend the willy is not there. Don't like it here, why is it weird? around the backside of factories, they probably dispose their toxic waste into this river. That's why it stinks. Something is driving along here. You see these tracks. 
Nah. Gotta to get to Kyoto before it gets dark. You let a gay Japanese guy sucked your willy off at the park and then admitted that it's the best Boris Johnson you ever received. No, I didn't you say You also it was said the best. he looks better than 80% of the women you ever dated. Yeah, because a lot of them are ugly. Just saying facts. I really hope this path connects to a road. I need to cross over this, whatever this is, open sewer. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I wish I was exploring Japan with someone instead of just doing this, but then I think I'd rather be streaming myself exploring places than being stuck with some woman that I don't really find attractive and I can't even talk to because of communication barriers. I'd rather just stream because then I can talk about what I want to, make a bit of money. So I would only ditch streaming if I was on a date with like a really hot girl. But that's very unlikely to happen since I got a girlfriend. I think this is better than just sitting in my room all day got to get outside and do something. Well, what's all this? I really hope I'm not wasting my energy going this way. God, it's so boring. You go on a date and then the other person doesn't speak anything you speak. And then you're just communicating in broken language. You can't talk about anything, it's so boring. God, look at all the rubbish. All these footballs in there too. Why are there footballs in there? Oh, thank God. Oh, there's two people. I hope they're not young guys. sketchy. Don't fall. I feel like this bridge is going to collapse. <sighs> Imagine it collapse into the toxic sewer. Oh, the old guys, thank god. <sighs> Young guys scare me. If it's old guys, it's fine. Oh, it smells like piss here. Da, da, da. What train line is this? I think it's the K. Kehan, Kehin, Kehan. Check the maps. Oh my god, I'm only at Skaguchi. Okay, I've got to cross over the tracks.
we're so far away. <laughs> we're there. We've got to go all the way up here. <laughs> oh my god. Keep going. Cross over these tracks. Pick up the pace. How do I cross over? I'm kind of scared of young guys now because I think they think I'm also young. So they don't respect me as an adult because they think I'm probably the same age as them. In my mind, I think I'm above them, you know, on the pecking order because I've got more life experience. But they don't know that. They only know what they see and what they see is a very boyish looking man. I look young, but then you come up close, you probably see my face looks a bit aged. It must be weird. Because I look young and old at the same time. Ah, nice breeze. And open up the shirt for ventilation. Cool down the systems. Oh, that's nice. Cool my belly. get to Kyoto, I'll reward myself with a nice McDonald's. Delicious. And savoury. You are a creepy stalker. No, I'm not. You are a stupid idiot. Prove me wrong, or forever shut your mouth. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Destroyed. Can I go over the tracks if I got up here? Should I just get on the train? I can't be bothered. I think I can go over the tracks. Food in the vending machines. Is that Okonomiyaki? And ramen? Yeah. Oh look, they've got fried chicken. Is that spaghetti? Noodles. get a bike. I might do later if I can't walk anymore but I'm still full of energy. It's only been an hour. I'll probably do another four. Check the map. If I go this way and then down and then across, I'm not 
しょう Open Compass Open Compass Yeah, we'll go east We'll go this way If you came to Japan, would you do this? Walk for 10 hours doing nothing. I hope there's a bathtub in the hotel room. I'm pretty sure there is. I didn't get up a hotel this time. I want to try something new. A bit bored of up a hotel. Go down that way. Go to a maid cafe. No, they're boring. They don't let you film either. And it's just lame. They just say funny, weird stuff. And then they make you say it too. It seems fun if you're a kid. I don't know why grown adults go there. They've got some kind of made fetch. Fetish. Fetchy. I'm not really that into maids. It's not really my thing. I don't really look at a maid girl and go, oh my god. The problem with the maid dress is you can't see the bum because the dress is so big and baggy. So it's hiding up the best part. I want to see the bum, not like a big French maid dress. Never really been into the maid, maid girls. Not really my thing. I'm more into the lonely milfs with the big bum. You don't want a bunch of cuties to serve you. I don't really get off it. I went to a girls bar with Blood Bucket and the girls were cute. But you can't do anything. You can't touch them. You can't kiss them. What's the point? You can engage in fake conversation. The only thing you can do with them is the most boring thing. Talking. I like to talk, but I like to talk about things that I'm interested in. Can't really talk about that to them. What are you gonna do? Like start telling them you're a YouTuber and you got divorced and you cheated. I don't know what to say to some random bar girl. I don't really feel like I want to talk about anything in particular if I was going to talk to someone. I can talk a lot by myself, but I don't know what to talk to. I don't know what to talk about to someone.
All I'd want to ask is, do you want to do a live stream together? If there's a possibility of talking to a bar girl and then telling her to do YouTube and then she's interested in streaming, then I'd be interested. But they usually don't like it. They don't want to be filmed. <laughs> if you have a job working as a bar girl, you gotta be very careful about stalkers. So they try and keep the customers at a distance not to get too close to them otherwise you get some weird guy who falls in love with you and thinks there's something and then he starts getting all creepy Grandpa working at the construction site, walking like a zombie. I wonder if anyone would be interested if I post on like a meetup app, say that I've got a YouTube channel. Is anyone interested in live streaming in Osaka? Here's my channel. I bet if anyone checks it out, the only people who'd be interested would be like crazy people. Oh, good night, Kerry. When you wake up, maybe I'll be in Kyoto. Come check in on me. We're not even close to Umeda. <laughs> We're like halfway to Umeda. It's okay, we've got the whole day. Full battery bank of electricity. You'd get old weirdos. Yeah, I don't want to meet up with 60 year old old man or something. Unless he's cool, like Ryotaro from Chris Broad's channel. He's a cool guy. If you can like take me out to Teppanyaki or something. I just want people to be clean looking and washed and not creepy. Is that so much to ask for? But then I wouldn't mind hanging out with guys. Can't they just like wash their hair or something? So many people just don't seem to know how to look after themselves. That's why I always say, have a shower when you wake up, not when you go to sleep. If you want, do both. But if you can only do one, have a shower when you wake up and wash your hair. Don't go out with your hair, like bed hair, dandruff in it. Hated it. Had this one Japanese girlfriend a long time ago. Her hair looked rubbish, because she wouldn't wash it. She only washed it before going to bed, then it looked nice. But the entire day it was like all flat and greasy and weird looking. Just wanted to go out with my girlfriend and she looked nice. But she wouldn't have a shower. Open compass. Go north. Help her. Help who? 
Well, the old granny. Give her a piggyback. God, I hope I don't become like that when I'm old. Can't even walk properly. How do people become like that? I want to make sure even when I'm old I can at least walk. Don't know. They just get some kind of body dysfunction, I guess, that you don't have control over. I just get a car if that happens to me. I'm not walking around like that. I was thinking Japanese are stereotypically extremely clean. They are, but they don't have a damn shower when they wake up. They'll have it before they go to bed. I don't understand why. They have weird back-to-front logic. I would never go outside without washing my hair because it looks weird. My hair looks weird when I just woke up. It's like all uneven and flat around the sides and back where my head was pressed against the pillow. It's like all flat around the sides and back, but all fluffy on top. And it makes me look like a bird's nest on my head. And it's all greasy and weird looking. I need to wash it. I'm not going out like that. It look disgusting. Some people have nice hair where the hair just kind of resets after they've woken up. So they have nice fluffy hair, even after they've gotten out of bed, but my hair kind of solidifies when I'm asleep into a weird shape. So I need to have a shower to reset it. Do I plan on going hiking? No, because I don't think I can, I'll get good internet connection there. This is basically hiking anyway. I've only had a banana today. Might need to get some food. Once we get to the Yodogawa River, we basically just follow it up, all the way up to Kyoto. And then that's basically when the real journey starts. This is just the prelude. Damn, this place smells good. What is it? Momo. Chicken thigh. like chicken bentos. That would be a pretty good restaurant to eat and it's pretty empty. No, later. Although we could. Should we? I don't know if I got enough money. Check my cash reserves. Cheapest one is 620 yen. Momo Bento. Got five, six, seven, eight hundred. Oh, I do have enough. Now I want to get closer. I want to get at least around halfway before I eat. I'm still not really tired. We should at least get 40% of the way there. We've got about 800 yen. But that's my dinner money. I've got one banana to help me walk 50 kilometers. I think 
I go this way. I need the coins to get drinks. I think drinks are more important. Where am I? Yeah, we're just walking in a straight line now. And then we'll get to a small river. Pick up the pace. Long distance walker body, stick body. Yeah, but my legs are gonna be really defined and muscular. And it's gonna make my face slimmer. Get my chiseled jaw back. So we walked to Kobe, now we're going to walk to Kyoto. Next we can walk to Tokyo. Because my girlfriend's going to come to Tokyo a couple days after I have to leave the guest house. So that means either I fly ahead to Tokyo and wait in Tokyo for a few days, do a stream there before she arrives, or I walk to Tokyo. Do you think, do you think I can walk to Tokyo in two days? Hmm, probably not. I think it's like 400 kilometers to Tokyo. It will take me weeks. She was turning left anyway, why didn't she just keep going? Why did she have to wait for me to cross and then take over me? It's just a waste of time. Imagine blood bucket on a Harley Davidson. <laughs> for some reason I can picture that. That was like an old lady on a big noisy bike. How hot is it now? I think it's like 20 degrees and I'm wearing two pairs of trousers. Two shirts a jumper and a fleece might have to take the fleece off what drinks do we have what is Mets black cola might get an energy drink soon what's that 200 yen for Red Bull sounds expensive does Red Bull actually hydrate you it's got caffeine in it doesn't caffeine dehydrate you? Hmm. I need something like Pocari sweat with electrolytes. Yeah, so meet my girlfriend in Tokyo. I think there's a lot of things we could see in Tokyo. Asakusa. Mount Fuji, Sky Tree, Tokyo Tower, Meiji, Jingu, what else? Yokohama, Shibuya, Shinjuku. There's nothing really there though, it's just a lot of shops. But people like to see the Shibuya scramble, don't they? walk on this side of the road. <laughs> so 
There's so many people just standing around doing nothing. Yeah, I guess that was pretty stupid. I was about to walk right under where they're working. Wearing way too much clothes. Well, it's going to get cold when the sun goes down. Sweat, I might get it now. Okay, no, my food money, my dwindling cash reserves. I can't take any cash out because I don't have 10,000 yen. 10,000 yen is the minimum you can take out. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. You could have worked for Google Maps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't open the damn thing. Oh. It's not water, it's Pokari. It's got electrolytes. Oh my god, my arms are sweating too. Really shouldn't have worn the long sleeve t shirt. Okay, let's go. We saw the pimples. Yeah, whatever, I don't care anymore. I used to care because it was really important for me to look really attractive so I get fangirls and more viewers but I don't think it really matters anymore dead channel You have no idea the lengths I went to to look attractive. Had to have the right camera angle, the right lighting, the right beauty filter. My hair had to look amazing. I got really stressed when I had a pimple because I had to either try and hide it or not film anything and wait for it to heal. As a YouTuber, being your most attractive self is very important when you're growing as a channel. But once it's dead, it doesn't really matter anymore. Plus, you kind of get too old where it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> What about Chris Broad? He's got really good skin. But he gets fat. I'd rather have bad skin and be skinny than be fat and have good skin. Wouldn't you? Chris's problem is he just gets fat really quickly. Okay, we made it to the first river. I have to cross this. So all these rivers, they actually come from Kyoto, like the Yodogawa River. It flows through Kyoto, so we just have to follow it upstream. And then you'll get taken there. Actually, if I just go straight up Yodogawa, I'll probably get to that. 
You know the iconic bridge in Kyoto? What's it called? I keep forgetting, like Togetsu Kyo Bashi or something like that. Maybe it'll take you straight there. And Arashiyama is around there too. I want to get on the footpath. Re oh, there's a footpath here. Yeah, Togetsu Kyo Bridge. I think you would end up there if you kept following the river upwards. First go across this. <laughs> Look at that car, what the fuck's that? What is that? <laughs> That's so funny. Did you see that? That's the tiniest car I've ever seen. Oh, the footpath's on the other side. Oh, they're waiting for me. Asumbi Masen. Okay, that's the first river. <coughs> Let me cross this. go to the beach. I don't know where the beach is. I think you have to go to Wakayama. All the water around Osaka is all just man-made concrete blocks for ports, shipping stuff. Actually, I think you go back a couple hundred years, Osaka was way smaller. It's only as big as it is now because they built all the man-made concrete stuff. Even the airport is built on a man-made concrete island. So there's no natural beaches around Osaka. I have to go far away. Well, look at the river. Why don't you visit Kyoto? I'm going to Kyoto now. Literally going now. But when we get there, it's going to be all dark. That's why I booked the hotel. Famous food in Kyoto. I just get McDonald's. If I lived in Japan and I was a Japanese person, I would probably hate living here. It's so dull. If I was Japanese, I'd probably be like, oh, Japan's so boring. I want to live in Europe. I think most Japanese people find fulfillment in life by fulfillment in life by focusing on careers and then having a family. I mean, that's basically the same anywhere in the world. I think most people won't be happy doing what I do. I'm not even happy, to be honest. It's a meaningless existence and boring. But I don't 
know what else to do. I don't have any interests, that's the problem. My only interest is eating food and jerking off and having a hot bath. I'm not really passionate about anything. Do you think girlfriends find your life boring? Probably. I like being a YouTuber, but what I do on YouTube is pretty boring, isn't it? I just walk for hours and hours, or I sit in a room for hours and hours complaining about being bored. I'm trying to just fall asleep walking. Autopilot. My right toe is starting to hurt now. I've got to be careful not to put too much weight on it. This is my job, showing you the streets of Japan. Damn, look at all the old people. It's crazy to think all these old grannies were probably really cute at some point. And now they're just old looking. How do they go from looking really cute and hot and you obsess over them and then just a couple decades later, they're old? Crazy. One day it will happen to you. No, never. I'll look like this forever. make it to old age, why not? I have a very healthy lifestyle. I have very active lifestyle. then when I get back to the UK I'm never going to leave my bedroom and I'm not sure if I can even go into the garden now if someone's living in the cabin imagine she just steps out of the cabin naked because she's French she's probably got hairy armpits 
she probably just wakes up in the morning naked, does yoga stretches on the garden. You know what French people are like. And then I'll be in the garden not noticing and then she'll be like, Oh Daniel, I didn't notice you there. Would you like some tea? In the garden. been walking for nearly two hours. I think we've covered 10 kilometers. Progress is a bit slow. I'm just trying to pace myself. Cereal her in the garden. Yeah. During the hot summer's day, Long blades of grass tickling your buttocks. Hot beaming sun. Gentle breeze blows across your backside. Oh, summer days. Where are you going? I'm going to Kyoto. Walking to Kyoto. A waddle thumb. Yeah. A step of thumb. Maybe we can do 60,000 steps today. What are you gonna do when you get there? I'm gonna check into my hotel. Then I'm gonna steal the shampoo. <laughs> I need more shampoo, I'm running out. And I need toothpaste. So I booked a hotel for 30 pounds one night. And then I'll get uh, the room to stay in. I'll get free shampoo and toothpaste and amenities. And we can explore Kyoto tomorrow, do another stream tomorrow. Walk around Kyoto a bit and then get the train back in the evening. Sounds good. A date with Daniel in Japan. How many hours until Kyoto? Probably like eight. The real journey hasn't even begun, really, because we haven't even gotten to the Odogawa River. We're just walking east, and then we'll head north. That's when the 40 km starts. I might have to take my jacket off. Next time I find somewhere to stop. Renting a tiny electric car. The one that passed me, don't you need a license? Might as well just get a motorbike. It's basically a four wheeled motorbike. Yeah, maybe next year we, we get a car, rent a car, and then we stream in the car like Sora the Troll does. I'm just a bit nervous about it. I've got no ex I mean, I do have experience on the roads here as a cyclist, but not as a carist. There'll be some weird, confusing road that I just freak out on because I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. And then I'll probably make the wrong decision. Yeah, the 
this man's walking faster than me. Yeah, let me keep up. He's walking too fast to overtake. I think we just create distance. thing about my streams recently they're all getting monetized so the longer the stream is the longer it stays monetized sometimes it goes yellow after I end it last stream stayed green didn't even have to request a review So I make like $25, $30 from the ad rev, just from doing like a 10 hour stream, it's great. Things are going pretty good, money, money wise. I think people like the Japan streams. I think maybe we do more of this instead of just staying in the guest house we can do a day trip or stay one night in a different place and head back maybe not walk there next time maybe get the train there and then start the stream there walk around check in hotel then head back because we could explore other places like uh himeji Nagoya, Nagoya is boring though, I've heard it's boring. Live streams are better than normal videos. Yeah, my normal videos suck. It's just me lying or pretending I care about something I don't care about for eight minutes. I don't really see myself doing videos anymore. The Chris Broad video nearly has 8,000 views, maybe we'll get to 10,000. I think live streams are better. You just talk about stuff, don't have to be fake. And we get to see cool stuff on the way. Random stuff happens too, like the Japanese kids. You never know what will happen. prefer it if nothing happened, but I guess it does make for interesting content. Do I go up there? Oh, damn. Am I allowed up here? It's all overgrown. Oh, my legs. Did they throw rocks at you? No. But when I went on a date in London in 2022, I went to the train station. These stupid chavy kids were playing around on the bridge over the tracks. And one of them threw a stick at me. I don't know what river this is. And then I turned around as I got hit by the stick and I looked at him and he was like, oh, sorry, mate. Stupid idiot. Let me have a rest. Oh my God. We don't want to burn out. This is a long walk. Rest them joints. Okay, let's check. I am at the... Ina River, which rivers? Oh my God! Look, 
don't know if you can see the screen or not. So we walked. Oh, <laughs> we only <laughs> we only walked from there to there. <laughs> We've got to go all the way here and all the way up there and then all the way up there. Yeah, we're screwed. Oh my god. How far away is it? 44 kilometers. We've walked like six. I'm gonna die. No, I wanna walk as far as I can and then get the bike. I reckon we get about halfway there, then I'll give up. I might have to take my jacket off. I could take it off here. That'll take 12 hours. Yeah, this rate. I need to pick up the pace. I don't feel like I need to take it off yet. I can't be bothered taking it off. Riding a bike tired is gonna suck. I think it'll be fine because when you walk, you use different muscles than when you cycle. So I'll give my walking muscles a rest and then activate cycling muscles. Okay, let's go. We've got to walk. We've got to walk what we've already walked to get to the first checkpoint which is when we change direction and head up because we're heading east we really got to head that way I mean no we got to head east we've got to really head that way but first I want to get alongside the river not this river there's a really big river so I know exactly which way to go without having to check the maps also, I want to walk alongside the river because it'd be nice and peaceful. I don't want to walk in between all these roads and stuff. Okay, feeling, feeling good. Let's go. Build a raft. <laughs> yeah, but I'll be going against the current. If I just let the river wash me down, it'll end up taking me to... into the Bay of Osaka. Pretty sure into the ocean. See me get washed away into the Pacific Ocean. The live stream cuts out. You never see me again. Just floating across the Pacific. <laughs> Have you seen that guy? There was a guy on YouTube. He solo sailed over the Atlantic Ocean, and he vlogged it. Crazy. He said he couldn't sleep, because if you fall asleep and something goes wrong, then you'll be in trouble. You can only sleep for a few hours. And then he had to tie himself to the boat, because if he fell off the boat, he wouldn't be able to catch up with it. The boat will just carry on sailing off and he'll be left behind. So he had a rope and a harness attaching him to the boat. Yeah, I think it was that 19 year old. He's like very ginger and pale looking. Insane. That'd be so scary. The Atlantic Ocean's massive. What if you get capsized? You can only sleep a couple hours. Why is the Pacific Ocean 
harder than the Atlantic Ocean. I'm raising one million dollars like Chris and Connor on my walkathon to the Autistic Defense Force. I can't believe they raised a million dollars. How much money do you think they made from the ad revenue? Because they were getting subs and bits and stuff and probably ad rev from 30,000 viewers every day. So how many? 14 days, 12 days. 30k viewers a day. That's a lot of ad rev. I reckon they made a couple hundred thousand at least from the ad rev. Something in my shoe. But then they have to pay for petrol. The cameramen. They had some other guy in a black van going ahead, booking hotels and restaurants and stuff. You gotta pay all these people, and then they had to rent out the space at Tokyo Tower. That can't have been cheap. And then all the people who work for Geeks Plus. It's not easy. It's not just like a guy on a bike streaming it. It's a whole massive organization. When you think about it that way, Chris and Connor with their multi millions, probably a lot of it gets, gets used up. It's like a proper full-blown TV production with all the staff and the cars. They go buy the bicycles. Don't know how much it costs them to do. Yeah, well, I can just do it myself. Don't need a van or a production team. I'm a one-man solo machine. Hopefully this road takes me to the big river. One-man wrecking crew. One man marching band. I don't get it. I think they have to stop to let me cross. If there's no lights at the crossing, I think the rule is they have to stop. I'm always standing there waiting for them to go by. But when there are lights and it's green, they just don't stop and they rush through. Maybe hitting me. Weird. You know what I want? I haven't had yakitori, proper yakitori. Not supermarket box thing. I wouldn't mind going to get a proper yakitori.
So I think the plan for Tokyo is I'll probably go there first, book a few nights on my own until my girlfriend arrives and then go meet her at the airport and then take her around Tokyo and then maybe get the bullet train back to Osaka and then see some things in Osaka that we haven't seen yet. Might take her to that sun tower place when it's open because they look quite nice during the day. And then I'll book a hotel near the airport for the last night because my flight is quite early. I don't want to wake up too early. So I get a hotel room in the airport if possible. Then say goodbye. Hopefully she can get a flight back to Thailand from Osaka Airport. I would probably try going back with her if my sister wasn't getting married. Sister's wedding messing up all my plans. Really annoying. Funerals, weddings, they just disrupt your life, don't they? I can't really not go, can I? Oh my god. Come on, let me cross. Once you go back to Thailand, your channel is dead. Yeah, well, I'll go back to the gaming channel and pump out six videos a day. People are getting good views on Dragon's Dogma too. I'm a bit bummed out. I'm missing out on it. But that game sucks so much. So boring. I'd rather walk for hours and hours streaming in Japan than play that stupid game. But I've seen gaming channels getting like 200k views doing Dragon's Dogma 2 guides. But I have to miss out on it. I profited massively off Helldivers 2. So I'll take that as a win. Is he waving at me? Did he wave at me? Or was he waving at someone else? stream like this in Thailand. I don't know. It'd be very hot. Whoa, look how low the plane comes in. The problem with Thailand is if I was going to stream outside it would have to be in the evening. So ideally I would start the stream at like 3 p.m. and stream until midnight but I can't because my girlfriend We'll come back at 7 p.m. and then obviously I want to spend the evening with my girlfriend. Cook dinner, watch Netflix. What's the point of having a girlfriend if you just end up streaming all night? So I can only stream until 7 or 8 p.m. Which means I could probably only stream for four or five hours max before having to go back. And I don't really know where I'd go. Bangkok is pretty small. And I don't really want to go out from the center because it just gets worse and worse. Bangkok and Thailand is not pretty when you get away from the center of Bangkok. So very underdeveloped, very ugly. Just a bunch of coconut stands, weird food. Very hot. 
I would probably collapse. I would probably need to get a hat or use an umbrella. You're already living out the centre. No, I was like on the very outskirts of the centre. And it was pretty rough looking. I would not want to stream around there. It's so noisy as well, the traffic. Traffic is non-stop. Drill, 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 all day long. Very, very boring. Check my map. Oh my god, you're getting five hours plus of sun exposure. Yeah, I have sun cream. I put it on in the beginning of the stream. Oh my god, I'm still really far. We're gonna walk past the Mr. Donut Museum. I think we're going to walk past the Asahi beer factory as well that I went to in 2010 with my Korean girlfriend back when I had friends and social life you can do beer tasting and go on a tour of the Asahi beer factory it's also the ramen factory I think it's not near here though. There's a, I think it's Mr. Donut Factory, or no, Mr. Donut Museum. We'll be walking past. No time to stop by though. A pair of sunglasses. I have sunglasses. But it's nice and cloudy today, so I don't really need it. This is boring. You don't like walking? It'll get more interesting when I get near the river. We just have to walk past through this industrial area. First we must suffer and then we can enjoy. It'll be worth it. If you wear sun cream, do you still get tanned? Because I think I'm getting very brown. My skin looks like fake suntan, kind of orange color. I didn't notice, I'm already going orange. It's not even brown at this point. It's like literally orange. I'm still going to get tanned. Tikio Sam mentioned Dan. Tikio Sam should join me on my 50 kilometre walk. It would be good for him. He'll probably say his toe hurts or something. My toe hurts too. The hardest bit about walking is when you get like a very intense pain in a joint or your knee or your ankle. And it just kind of makes it so hard. I can walk forever. I don't really mind the muscle ache. The problem is the foot ache and then getting intense pain in a very specific place. The sun is aging you. Yeah, I know. That is annoying. But I put a lot of sun cream on, so I should be fine. People in Thailand, they wear balaclavas and gloves and stuff if they work outside.
Well, I'll be back in the UK in June, and then I'll just never go outside. My skin will recover. Well, wait, does it not recover? If it gets sun-aged, does it not sun de age when I'm out in the sun? Yeah, I'm starting to question my career choice now. I don't really want to age. Your skin exfoliates itself and recovers. Yeah, I really hope this sun aging is not permanent. I don't really want to do this forever. But I don't know what else to do here in Japan. What else am I supposed to do? Sit in the guest house room all day? It doesn't get unold, it's permanent damage. Damn it. Now you're making me not want to do IRL streaming. Making me scared now. I put sun cream on, it should be fine. All right? Am I right? Let me finish my drink. Besides, it'll get dark in a few hours. gonna get ginger ale. Yeah, if I find some. I have um, 50 plus SPF strength in sun cream. It's not even that sunny, it's just cloudy. <laughs> well, the sun's going down now. We only spent two hours in the sun, it's fine. Should I squeeze by or just wait here? I think I'll wait here. Uh. I jump on the back of this lorry. <sighs> the post office little motorbikes are funny. Why don't we have those in the UK? We have a post van. Hands getting really orange. It looks weird. A 
Okay, no more IRL streams then. I don't want to get aged by the sun. Or I just come out in the evening. I come out at 6 p.m., 5 p.m. 5 until 12 would be 7 hours. Get a hat or bandana, but then it'll ruin my hair. Just stop smiling like that, it's making me get more wrinkles. No, a hat will ruin my beautiful hair. Isn't there a rumor saying that if you wear hats, it increases hair loss? Something like that. How come I'm getting all brown and orange, but Japanese people are not really brown and orange? They've got some kind of anti-UV skin genetics. Where do I go? This way. Your hair's already ruined. No, it's not. It's looking gorgeous. and walk at the same time. Out of breath. I thought it's the Star Wars tune. When Darth Vader comes out. Kind of catchy. It's better than God Save Our Queen. I don't even know how it goes. Oh my god. It's gonna go red, isn't it, when I get on the track? Bit scared. <laughs> Nearly died. God save our king. Sounds weird though. The lucky king and queen have the same one syllable. So you can change it interchangeably. How do I become a lord? I want to become Lord Lord. <laughs> Would it even be possible to become a lord? David Cameron became Lord Cameron. What did he do to become a lord? I thought everyone hates him. <sighs> I could be a sir. Sir Lord. 
Sir Lord of Harry Ocean. First of his name. Starting to get tired now. Just really want to get to the river first. Oh my god. The route is not taking us to the river. We're going alongside it, but we're not next to it. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god. My dickhead's getting stuck to the inside of my underwear. I don't know why. I think it detached, I'm not sure. I think it was wet and then it dried and it dried to the inside of my underwear. Am I about to walk onto the motorway? This is like a road that joins the motorway, isn't it? See, that's the problem. If you don't, if you don't exercise and you stay inside, um, you get fat, which makes you look old. But then you don't get sun damage, so your skin looks better. But if you go outside and exercise, you lose weight. But then you get sun damage. Sezuko Dome. I guess I walk under the bridge. I think, I think some liquid came out on the tip and then it dried and then glued itself to my underwear. And then it detached, which is why it was painful. The tearing. Go out at night. Oh, someone left dumbbells. Three kg. It's like woman weights. Oh look, the pigeon's trying to grape the other pigeon. Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop graping each other. Can birds even grape? Because they don't have any arms. How can they grab anything? Should I go up the steps or up the ramp? Go up the ramp. What happened to my shrimp? They're probably dead now, I don't know. My girlfriend said she gave it to her sister, but her sister doesn't really seem like the type to be caring for animals. Does she even know she has to change the water? I didn't change the water, I just let it evaporate out and then I put in new water. You don't really have to do anything, just keep the glass clean. Because the algae starts blooming. You don't need to change water, you just add water. And then feed them. Hopefully she didn't overfeed them. People think, oh they got to feed the fish loads. You've only got to feed the fish once a day, a little pinch. What the hell? How do I get over this? Got 
cross over this not go up it I met the sister a few times we went to we had like a hotel lunch buffet and then I also met her un uncle and auntie and her cousins for her birthday we walked around Chinatown in Bangkok uh, who else I meet? I met her sister's husband but he doesn't really talk he talks even less than I do. He doesn't speak English. So that's the problem. He's like, uh, he works in a hospital. But I think he's like a military doctor or something, I don't know. He works in a hospital, but he's also part of the military. I don't understand it. Meaningless is raging in his new video. About what? Better not be about me again. Oh my god, this step. These steps are so steep, what the hell? That's like a ladder. Look how steep these are. It's almost vertical, I'm not going down those. Twist my ankle. Go down the slope. He got stood up, really? Are you kidding? Girl lied to him, not hurt his feelings or some shit. Yeah, they do that. They'll say, here's my line, but then they'll just block you. And you won't know that they've blocked you. I don't know if he used line or was it Instagram. But if it was line, there's no way to tell that they blocked you. I've been blocked online and there's no way you can tell. They just stop messaging you. Oh well, just keep trying. He waited 20 minutes, didn't show up. Well, at least you tried. Just try a hundred more times. Eventually, it will happen. Oh my God. Domino's pizza. Okay, let me go across here. walking in the road or what? What is this? I can't tell. I think it's just the car park. I wonder what the girl looks like that he was supposed to meet. I don't know where I am. Hong Kong guy didn't reply to me. Why is everyone ghosting me? See how far away we are from Kyoto. 46 kilometers. What? Is it 44 last time? Oh, 42. We are 42 kilometers away. Just go in a straight line, I guess. 42 kilometers, we've done eight kilometers. Let's go. Mm 
imagine it's like 10 p.m. and I'm still walking. It's uh, 3 p.m. now. I might be. If I haven't collapsed. I want to make some faster process, progress. Oh, where am I going? I thought it was a straight line. What? How do I go that way? All these stupid motorways making it hard. I think the sun tower thing took six hours and that was only about 20 kilometers away. So 50 kilometers would be like 12 hours. I don't think I can do it. I'm gonna have to get a bicycle for part of the trip. What's that noise? Uh, why am I not on the footpath? Why did they put this stupid railing here? I can't get on the footpath. Can I? Swing my leg over. <laughs> Good thing about having long legs like a giraffe. This is British SAS commando training. I've got a two kilogram pack back. Back back. Long ass legs. <laughs> yeah, like a flamingo. Oh, hey, Sonny. How's life? Meaningless said his date stood him up. Can't believe it. I thought they were gonna fall in love and get married. Are we gonna see any countryside? Yeah, it's just this area, I think, is really industrial. Once we get out of it, it'll be better. Where's the Mr. Donut Museum? Ah. No, I can't go by it. It's too... It's too far away. In the other direction. It's like on the other side of this block. The Duskin Museum. We have to keep walking up this way. Sepeta Thai dishes. Should I get some Thai food? Is Chris Broad tanned? No, he looked white as usual. For some reason, I'm getting really orange. I don't know why I'm going orange. I'm wearing sun cream. Today, I'm going to Kyoto. We've got 42 kilometers left. I've done eight. Done eight kilometers. Are the bikes geo fenced? Um, there's the same bike company in Kyoto, Hello Cycling. So I must be able to use it there and then bring it back to Osaka. Walk to my house. <laughs> that would be like 
walking from my place to, to Kyoto. I'm gonna stay a night in Kyoto. So I'll be too tired. And by the time I get there, it'll be probably nearly be middle of the night when I get there. been two hours, 50 minutes. We're still early on. I'm in good spirits still. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Yaki Niku. Yaki Niku Kingu. How many calories? We're gonna burn like 2,000 calories walking there, I think. We're gonna to have to eat all the meat. Oh, Yakiniku is so expensive, 4,000 yen for one person. My dinner yesterday cost 300 yen for a bento. 30% off discount. <laughs> Two postmen. Why don't they just get a car? Expired bento. It was nearly expired. really don't like this area. What are these people doing? They're not doing anything. And there's a woman. So don't usually see women doing this job. They look really bored. They look so bored standing there all day. How much do they get paid? Probably 1,200 yen an hour. Pad Sen at Thai restaurant. I don't like Pad Thai, I like Pad Gapau. I was gonna get Gapau at Blood Bucket's place because it was on the menu for Gusto, but then she phoned them up and they said they didn't have it because her menu's like a year old. Oh my god. Pad Gapau. Calling girls ass a bum is funny. Well, I don't want to be vulgar. Bum is like a cute way to call it. Ugh, look at these slum houses. It's like I'm back in Thailand. Ugh, they put water bottles on the roof to keep the metal, corrugated metal down. So ugly. It's all overgrown and stuff. Do you think anyone lives there? There. They're doing their best. Well, it's not good enough. Yeah, that looks like a 
sewer. I can't tell if it's a river or a sewer. It looks like a sewer. What are you going to do in Kyoto? Uh, probably just walk around aimlessly and get the train back. Not walking back. Oh my god. I really hope we can get to Kyoto before 10 p.m. because I want to do a hotel stream and then go to bed. Fushimi Inari. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd go there again. I've already been there twice. I want to see some other places. I think there's a castle in Kyoto. I've never seen that. Would I come to Sendai? Nah, that's boring and very far away. I'm gonna go to Tokyo in May with my girlfriend. Might do some streams there before she arrives. follow this road, this big road, for a little bit. Can I meet her? <laughs> She'll be mad at you. She'll be like, why are you trying to steal my boyfriend? That would be pretty funny though. <laughs> or if she meets Blood Bucket. She might smack me up. <laughs> no, she's a Buddhist. So she believes in peace. <sighs> I wish I had a step counter on the stream. She said she doesn't like, she doesn't want to live in America. She said after visiting America, she realizes that the only place she wants to live in is Thailand. And I thought, oh, thank God. Because if you want to live in America, it will be over between us. Because I'm never going to America, ever. I think Thailand wouldn't be a bad place to settle down in. Actually, I kind of think I like Thailand more than Japan sometimes. I think the people are definitely nicer in Thailand. And much better mannered. I like how they're more Buddhist. Japan has Buddhism too, but they're not really like proper Buddhists, are they? Go here. the sound of teenage boys. I heard it last night. I heard the sound. It was like... Oh, I... They made that really weird growling sound. Uh, oh man. Oh man. Yeah. 
when they're angry, they want to make a scary voice. They make that, that funny growling sound. I heard it last night and it gave me PTSD. They don't make a deep voice, they make like a nasally growl. It just sounds stupid. I'm scared to do it because then people are thinking I'm trying to start a fight. I'll do it later when there's no one around. Tuk-tuk. Oh my god, Thai food. Closed. So weird seeing a tuk-tuk. So I'm back in Thailand. So what the Thai Dori Sepata. What's that noise? I really want to go to a Thai restaurant and see if the food's any good. Maybe I'll learn to enjoy it. Thailand could be my future home. Japan just looks boring. Got all these grey and white boxes. You can't beat the prices of Thailand. I don't know, the food's pretty expensive there if you don't eat Thai food. If you ate Thai food, you'd save loads of money, but I can't. It's too spicy. Some of the noodle dishes are okay, but it's basically Chinese food. My girlfriend sometimes she bought this um, crispy noodle in a gloopy soup with beef in it, and I really liked it. But that's not Thai food, that's Chinese food. My mum used to make that. So I can eat the Chinese type of Thai food, but not the Thai Thai food. All the school kids coming out. It's nearly 4 p.m. Go, 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 go. Why are you away from Thailand if you love it so much? Because I was already there for over a year. Can't go back so soon, otherwise, they'll pull me over at the airport again like last time and ask me why I'm really here. They gave me such a grilling last year when I tried to get back in from Japan. It was scary. You know, you que you queue up and then you show your passport to the woman behind the counter and then you do the fingerprint thing and then usually they stamp you and then you go on in. When they were doing that, she got her walkie-talkie thing and she called over some woman and then the woman pulled me away from the queue. She said, come with me. And then they took me to like this little room with tables 
and then she sat me down and then she sat opposite and she was like why do you keep coming back to Thailand you were already here weren't you you can only stay in Thailand 180 days a year when does the year start is it January the 1st it must be So I was in Thailand from January the 1st until March 12th. I was only there for 90 days. So I could stay for another 90 days, couldn't I? Yeah, it was really scary. She was asking me why I was in Thailand. I said, tourism. She said, who do you live with? And I said, my girlfriend. And that's when I got busted. And then she said, oh, you have Thai girlfriend. And then she said, you're not traveling, you're just living with your girlfriend. I said, yeah, I live with my girlfriend and we travel. <laughs> and she was like, no, you don't travel. I said, I do. I tr we travel on the weekend. What are you talking about? She kept saying that I live with my girlfriend. And I said, yeah. So... I think maybe, I, I don't know, I didn't want to lie, but maybe I should have said I don't have a girlfriend. And then she asked me where my return ticket is, but I don't think I bought a return ticket because someone said, you don't need to buy a return ticket because I'm British. But because I didn't have the return ticket, she got all suspicious and told me I had to buy one now. But then I said, I don't have internet connection in the airport. And then she said, okay, buy one later. But I didn't. I ended up staying there for over a year. <laughs> she was like, okay, you can come in this time, but you only stay one month. And I said, okay, I ended up staying there for over a year. So I got the... I said, I don't have a visa. Can I get one in Thailand? She said, no. That's wrong, because you can get a visa in Thailand, when you're in Thailand. You can go to a school and then pay for a school to get you a student visa. Thai streets are more lively. Yeah, I kind of miss it, to be honest. When I was in Thailand, I thought I hated it. All the, all the taxi, motorbike taxi people on the street and the coconut vendors. I used to think, oh my god, Japan streets are so empty and nice to walk along but now it feels kind of dead like there's no life anywhere here it's just like housewives walking up and down doing shopping and men working the streets have the streets here have no life i am starting to i don't know why i'm missing thailand see her legs. But she had like little square patches where you can see her legs. That's kind of random. You want to show off a very specific square of your thighs. Okay, it's up to you. Yeah, I do miss Thailand sometimes. Japan is very windy. I don't remember it being windy in Thailand. Thailand has better apartments, definitely. Very cheap. $200 a month, $300 a month. Nice condo, swimming pool, gym, concierge. Is that a Lambo? No, it's Ferrari. Check my maps. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. God, I wish I had that bicycle right now.
I don't really miss the food markets in Thailand. They never sold anything I wanted and they stink. Those just had fish guts and gross stuff, chicken feet, mountains of insects. It nearly made me puke once. I remember we went to some kind of street market and there was just a mountain of bugs and I could smell it and it was disgusting. Goals everywhere. Marina Joyce got 2k views. <laughs> Her channel's so dead. Sad, isn't it? 2 million subs. But that's just how it goes. I had a look at that channel recently, Yogg's Cast. Do you remember it? There used to be a massive gaming channel back in the day. 4 billion total views. I think they got like 10 million subs. They only get about 50k views now. 100k. 50 to 100k. It's crazy how channels just die like that. People like PewDiePie can still get a couple million views. How does he do it? balconies. <laughs> Too many kids everywhere. Did I watch Cinemassacre? No. I don't really watch movie channels. I used to like that drunken, what's his name? It's like a drunk Scottish guy who moans all the time about movies. Critical Drinker, I think his name. He was quite funny for a bit, but then I got bored. He just whines all the time. About Mary Sue's. about to rip it muscle or something. I just wanted to just pull my tendon. Why is it so windy? I mean, why does Thailand have so many massage places, but Japan doesn't? Thai people really love massage or something. I, 
never got a Thai massage, did I? I got that face massage, remember? It was okay. My face was all sticky. I didn't like it because when they finished, my face was all sticky and it felt weird. Straight ahead. Oh, I don't want to go that way, it's full of schoolgirls. All going home. Do Combini pub crawl. I was thinking of going to that, that bar. Sometimes I feel really desperately lonely and I think, what if I actually went to a bar? Maybe I could talk to people. But then I get lazy and I'm just jerking off in my room. Would it be fun? Oh my god. I looked up the bar on YouTube and they had videos and it just looked like a bunch of gaijin guys singing karaoke. I'm not having any luck meeting people at the guest house either. There's either too many people there or there's no people. get a drink at Hub. I've been to Hub before and it's usually just a bunch of guys standing around. Can't there be a bar where there's only girls but you don't have to pay for drinks? Maybe. Maybe at some point I get really desperate and then just try going to a bar. It could be fun. I don't know. I don't really want drinks. They're so expensive too, it's like a thousand yen just to get a drink. 800 yen for some kind of cocktail. I could get a beer at the Combini for like 150 yen. This road sucks. It's a big lump of spit on the ground. Disgusting. So much happening. I can't even look at the chat. There's cars, there's bikes, people. Oh my god. Oh, bye, bicycle. I hate this road, why is it so small?
rush hour. But it's only 4, 4 p.m. Why is this road so small and so busy? Why do you put his hazard lights on? I don't know why the road is so busy and so tiny. Everyone's going home at 4 p.m. so early. School goes everywhere. That's probably why there's so many cars, because they get stuck at the train track and then they all come at once when it opens. Wow. So crowded. Can't make any progress here. Stupid road. So narrow.
<laughs> oh my god, why are they stopping? Why do they just stop in the middle of the road and say bye? It's so annoying. God, look, they're all just going to stand there. Stupid kids. Uh, one thing I hate about Japan is the bye bye culture. I was just standing there for ages saying bye bye and waving and stuff. It's so annoying. Because they just stand in the middle of the path, blocking the whole path. Or they'll stand in front of the train station ticket gate saying goodbye and then they block everyone. Why do they take such a long time? Did she laugh at me? Stupid bitch. Laugh so I hate when people get in my way. Get the fuck out of the way. Bye, 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 bye. You're gonna see them again tomorrow. Just calm down, just stupid bye byes. Oh wow, thanks. No name. Bye 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 my backside. Oh wow, thanks. Very generous. I get really stressed out when it's a narrow street, packs full of people, and then they just suddenly stop without even moving to the side. Look at these dweebs in their blue jackets. They probably go to a dweeb school. Mummy and daddy paid for it. <laughs> blue jacket, blue trousers, and a blue backpack. Definitely dweebs. If everyone just got out of my way, it'd be great. Finally, I think it's over. God, that was a nightmare. That was the worst street I've ever walked through. Traumatic. Iconic. Many annoying things about Japan, like how the cyclists don't ride on the road. People block the footpath. Cars cross pedestrian crossings even though it's green for me. Starting to struggle here. Oh my god, we've barely covered any distance. Look! Yeah, I don't think we can do this, guys. <laughs> what? 
I've been walking for three hours and I've only done that from there to there. <laughs> We've got to do this. No, I can do it. I'm not giving up. Never give up. If I go on the train, it'll take an hour, one hour. I will walk to Kyoto. I will. I can do it. I don't know why it's taking so long. I can do 20 kilometers in five hours, so 50 should take 10 hours. But on the map, it looks like I've barely gone anywhere. Don't get it. Look at that tiny digger. So tiny. It's so small. Oh, my knees are starting to hurt too. Did Thai girl break up with you? Yeah, she divorced me. Said she never wants to see me again. Has Hong Kong guy replied yet to anyone? He hasn't replied to me. It's been 20 hours since I sent him a message. It says message not opened. It says he doesn't accept messages from people he doesn't know. So he might not even know that I messaged him. Uh, finally the road sign says Kyoto on it. I messaged Hong Kong guy yesterday if he wants to meet up because I thought it would be funny if I got him on stream but he's not replying Is there a way I can reach him? I'll take him out to Izakaya and give him an apology only if he agrees to stream it Those mountains there, I think that's Kyoto. I'm pretty sure he's not mad. I think I have to turn that way, actually. Ah, cool breeze. Dry my sweat. If I'm not allowed to talk about pineapples, maybe he can. What if he's on my stream talking about pineapples? And I'm just sitting there drinking my beer room, not saying anything. Because they didn't say other people can't talk about pineapples. They just said, I can't. Oh. 
think I go this way for how long? Oh, this is the beer museum. Asahi Beer Museum should be there. Oh, I can see, is that a gaijin or is it a Japanese man? Oh yeah, Asahi Beer Museum. Where is it? I came here in 2010 with some guest house people. That's my new song. Did you like it? Why does blue shirt man keep turning around? Oh look, Asahi Biru factory. You can see the refinery. They've got an army of people standing outside for the traffic. Three people. Why are there so many? These guys. Look, that's the beer factory. Why is it made out of brick? They not know how to make beer and they had to get Europeans to teach them, so they built a European brick style building. Kind of weird to see a brick building. How does it survive if there's an earthquake? The bricks would all crumble. There's no flexibility in bricks. Bricks make the best the beer ferment properly. What? I'm pretty sure, isn't it fermenting in those metal things? Oh, the beer roux. It's getting made here. Really. What's that weird square looking Tory gate? Why is it square? Minecraft. <laughs> oh, there's more. Eighteen eighty-nine. It's one hundred years before I was born. This factory is one hundred years older than me. Well, what's in those yellow bags? Maybe it's the hops, the barley, the oats. Get a job? What me? This is my job. I'm a Japan tour guide, tour guide.
finally a nice straight open road. I don't like blue shirt guy. It's getting in my way. I need to overtake. I might just go on the other side. <coughs> other side of the road. Meaningless rubbish posted new video about talking sheet about Japan. <laughs> He's going through all the stages. <coughs> Is it his first time in Japan or what? What did blue shirt guy do to you? Oh. He kept turning around and getting in my way. The title is I Hate Japan a Bit More. <laughs> Are these benches? You sit on them. I think you do. It's a weird seat. This is second time. Oh. I think it's my 14th time, I forgot now. We've got 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 2016, 2017, 2018. No, I didn't go in 2018, I was already there. 2019? 2023 20, and then 2024 I think 11 times one time I went I went twice in a year in 2014 it's not for you to sit there well it's pretty comfortable it's even got an armrest are you sure it's not for sitting on Do you think you'll spend most of your life outside of England when it's all said and done? What's said and done? I don't know. Eventually I'll get married again and then settle down. I don't really want to do this for the rest of my life. Aimlessly walking up and down for hours. My ideal life would be I have a nice place to live and I've got a room with a computer. Without a noisy neighbour banging on the other side of the wall. And then I'll just focus on gaming videos and clickbait. IRL streaming's fun but I wouldn't want to do this forever. It's hard work. The sun's making me age. Like a tomato. If I did this every day for the rest of my life, I'll look like an 80 year old when I'm 50 from the sun damage. See you doing this in 2050. <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. The problem is I always hate the place I'm in. So the whatever place I'm at, I always end up wanting to leave it. 
Why is he turning around? So when I was in Thailand, I missed Japan. Now I'm in Japan, I kind of miss Thailand. Damn, this kid's tall. If I can learn how to like the place I'm in, maybe I'll be happier. Turn it around at me. Every time I spoke, he kept turning his head. Damn, look at her armpit. But it smells like heaven. Why well, is there a picture of a woman picking her armpit? <laughs> kind of weird. The street's weird. Why is it brown? With this roof thing. Unsettling to see someone chatting to themselves. Maybe I'm just on the phone. I'm on the phone to my friends. with your massive bike whilst barely moving. Great. Fuck out of the way this stupid idiot. Block the whole path with a massive bike. Not even moving. They carry so much stuff on their bicycles, just get a car. Oh my god. Front basket, back basket, kid on the back. God, I'm so glad when I was a kid my mum had a car. Imagine being a kid, you got to ride on the back of a bicycle. My mum had a Saab 900 drove me and my sister to school every day in it. Imagine riding on the back of a bicycle as your mum pedals you to school. It feels like such a peasant. At least it's not Thailand where you've got the dad driving the moped and the mum on the back and the kid squeezed in the middle. That's probably worse. Imagine not having a car. <laughs> How can you have kids but you can't get a car? Surely if you can't afford a car, you can't afford to have kids. I don't get it. I had to walk to school. Well, I had to bike to school when I was a teenager. But when I was a very young kid, my mum took me and my sister in her Saab 900. 
Oh, what's that smell? It smells like egg. Maybe they can't drive? Well, if they can't drive, then they shouldn't be able to have kids. Oh, they're selling beer in the vending machine. What? So weird. My dad loves subs. He had a sub station wagon. You know those long cars with the flat backs? I think they're called station wagons. You don't see those around anymore. I wonder why. They were like very long cars and they had a big boot, which is why he liked them. You never see those cars anywhere now. I think they died out. I think my dad liked it because you could put in long planks of wood and it would stick out into the boot. Maybe like that. It's kind of like that. Long with a square back. I don't really know the different types of cars. You've got a coupe, a salon, or no, saloon. Um, what else? SU I know SUVs, they're the big ones like that. That's an SUV. Is that a saloon? And then you got hatchback, semi hatchback. Maybe we're 38 kilometers away now. If we can get it down to 30 kilometers away, I'd be kind of happy. It's just really demoralizing when it still says 40 something after all of this walking. I'm not even halfway there. Didn't Saab go bankrupt or something? I remember my dad complaining he couldn't get parts. I'm going the wrong way. It says... What? Oh, stupid Google Maps. You press something and then the screen flies all over the place. I don't even know what I press. Look. So I cross over there, but there's no road. Oh. Can I just... Oh, fuck's sake, I missed the green. Oh, it's blue shirt guy. Why is he following me? Oh, well, thanks, Gia. I think I can still walk a bit more for cheating. Why is this blue shirt guy going the same way? Is that even a road over there? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh wow, thanks. Get bike now, laughing face. No, it's not time to pull out the big guns yet.
I didn't stalk anyone. I did one stream where I walked around the area where I used to live and then I got in trouble with the authorities. They told me to delete it. I didn't even see her up close. Didn't do nothing. said go this way at the police station. I'm at the Coban. Building more houses. Are you sure it's this way? Those are the type of guys that end up working in construction. Those kids that bullied me at the shopping centre, that's what they'll be doing in five years' time. They can't do anything else. They've just got muscle. All they'll end up doing is either working on machinery or building houses or digging stuff. What's wrong with construction? There's nothing wrong with it, it's just a lot of the people that do it were probably dickheads when they were kids and bullies. Someone's got to do it. I'm not doing it. I'd rather live in a tent. I could probably build my own house though, if I had the materials and the tools. I don't think it's hard. You just cut some wood, make a platform, make a wall, it's easy. I've done it on that game, the souls, I mean, sons of the forest. You just put four posts down in the corners and then you put planks across to connect the posts and then you chop the wood to make a wall and then you chop a square for the door Wow, it smells nice here. Someone's cooking. Oh my god, kids. Wait a minute. Oh. You were about to pass a park and I see kids. God damn it. had a girlfriend here that I could stop by for a quick Boris Johnson to send me on my way. What the hell? A bunch of old people sitting there chatting. Oh look, a nice little park. A 
Manchester girl was hottest girl that Danny had. Well, the Muslim one. She was pretty hot. Her boobs were massive. But she had wide, broad shoulders I didn't like. That's the problem with white women. They do have quite a broad frame. I prefer Asian women just because they have a smaller frame. I don't like lying in bed next to a woman and then her shoulders are towering over mine when we lie sideways spooning. I like my women to be small. Well, smaller than me. Not too small. Not like a midget. I don't know if she was tight. She wouldn't let me put it in. She kept saying she was on her period, but I think she was lying. I should have put it in anyway. It's not fair. She see you end. And then she got dressed before I could see you M. I got blue. Can you imagine getting naked with a girl and then your thing's on her thing? But you don't get to see you M. It's so annoying. I had to kick her out so I could jerk off. Yeah, it was so annoying. We were in bed, she fell asleep. We were watching some movie, and then I started spooning her. And then she woke up. But she didn't stop me taking her clothes off, so we ended up completely naked. But she kept saying she was on her period, so I didn't want to put it in. So I didn't want to see blood. Blood grosses me out. She said she put the douche thing up there, but I didn't see anything in there. I don't know. I feel like she was lying. And then I got mad because she got dressed pretty quickly after she CUM'd. I think she had like post nut clarity after I made her CUM. I shouldn't have made her CUM, to be honest. I didn't realise it would be so easy, I just rubbed it on her bean a few times. She must have just see you went really quick. Most frustrating experience ever. She said it was wrong and it shouldn't have happened because she's a Muslim. And then she kept saying, oh, I'm going to hell. I didn't even know Islam had hell. I thought that was Christianity. She kept saying, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. I'm a Muslim. Yeah, as if you've never done it before. And she also drank wine. I thought you're not supposed to drink alcohol if you're a Muslim. Okay, it's basically just a straight line now. Forever. So we should make some good speed. The problem is when we're going weaving in and out of the little narrow roads and stopping at lights and stuff, that's really slowing me down. But I shouldn't get slowed down at all now. As long as this road stays wide and open. Yeah, well, I don't know why she kept wanting to stay over at my apartment and sleep in the same bed with a guy who's pretty much always horny. What did she expect? She kept saying, oh, I didn't have any intentions of dating you. Then don't get in my bed, idiot. Weird person. I was desperately lonely, so I kept saying yes when she asked to come round. She said her mum kicked her out because she didn't want to get a job or something. It sounds like a leech. My knees are starting to hurt now. I bet these people have never heard English in their whole lives in real life. What 
what adventure are we on today? I'm walking to Kyoto. I think we're about 38 kilometers away. I've walked about 12. Seven kilometers an hour is a good walking speed. How do you know how fast I'm going? I'm not sure if, I've, if I'm going that fast. Ambulance again. How big were the boobs? They were pretty big. Definitely couldn't fit in one hand. You could see them in the video. It's called the birthday cake girl, I think. I'm not sure. I might have changed the title. We made two videos together, one going to Uniqlo. The other one, it was her birthday, so I got her a birthday cake. She was probably the whitest girl I ever met. Very white. No, Sunny is probably whiter. I think I've only met a couple white girls. Here, Essex girl, Sunny, that Muslim girl, the Ukrainian girl, Five, old oh, German girl, one and two, seven. Look <laughs> at that dog. <laughs> the dog's like, I want to die. <laughs> Poor dog. Yeah, buying clothes with my new girl. I took her to a Korean... No, I, I recommended her a Korean barbecue place that I liked. And then she went to it alone. And then she messaged me about how shit it was. <laughs> and then I got annoyed. Because she was moaning about the dumbest stuff. Like, they... I think she said they didn't let her cook the meat. So they cooked it in the kitchen and brought it out. And then they also didn't give her a spoon or something, I don't know, like really stupid reasons. She said, it's so bad, it's rubbish here. I liked it. I went with the Ukrainian girl and I thought it was good. Why would she go to a place I recommended her and then tell me about how rubbish it was? At least keep it to yourself. What's the point checking now? But I want to know. Oh, we're 36 kilometers away. Damn, we walked 15 kilometers. Guys, I think we can do this. Look, we walked from... We walked from there to there. This last stretch is basically just a straight line. I think we can do it. We whittled it down from 50 kilometers to 36. I just need to keep marching. Mm -hmm. I'm walking like this. I'm basically marching. Come on, we can do it. We'll get 36 down to 25, 25 down to 18, 18 down to 12. I can smell Kyoto.
Just want this straight road to stay like this. Nice and open. I should get some food. If I see a good place to get food. Oh. Maybe I'll run. Oh. Oh, I can't. It's too hard. Jogging is too hard. Why are they filming? They've got a massive camera. Why are they pointing that camera here? There's nothing here. <sighs> Breathe in through the nose. Why do they say breathe in through the nose? Why is it different? How is it different to breathing in with your mouth? Do you think I can actually walk to Kyoto? I'm feeling like it's actually possible seeing it go down to 36 kilometers. Where is Sunny? She's probably at home now. I can do it. When are you gonna see Blood Bucket? Uh, maybe sometime this week, I don't know. Depends if she's free. I think she's busy today. I haven't seen her in the chat. She said she was meeting someone today, I think. No McDonald's yet. Oh my god. Didn't you say blood bucket picked you up from the police station? I was just joking. She was tweeting about someone else, not me. She had to go to the police station to find the whereabouts of someone she knows. You better get some nutrition. What do I need to rebuild muscle? Protein. And I also need to rebuild... What else? Maybe calcium. Thoughts about Blood Bucket's tweets. Um, I thought it was interesting seeing the tweets about me. <laughs> I wasn't upset, I thought it was funny. I need a nice hearty stew. Stupid. Stew. Stupid. 
she said she misses my smell. The smell of the freeloader lingers. I didn't know I had such a smell that lingered. I have a smell, but you've got to come really close, put your head under my armpit to smell it. I don't think you'd really smell me just by being near me. I don't know. I put deodorant on. She tweeted something. What did she say? She said the smell of my five skin lingers in the air. I don't know why Kansai people say oru instead of iru. Is it easier to pronounce? Does it sound more tough? Oru, oru, iru, 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 oru. I guess oru is kind of easier. You know, I heard the Tokyo dialect is not actually the official dialect. The Kansai dialect is closer to what the official Japanese language used to be like. And actually, the Tokyo dialect is an offshoot dialect. Kansai dialect is like the true, historically accurate Japanese. Imagine they teach Kansai Ben in the textbooks, it would be so funny. It would be like it would be like a Japanese person learning to speak Scottish English or something. Northern English. Sonny, come pick me up. My knees hurt. Oh wow, I'm at the Cerebral and Cardiovascular Center. They're doing amazing work. They're doing the greatest work for those with, I forgot what it was about now, cerebral problems. What a boring town, not even a McDonald's. Everything's gray as well. Look, gray, 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 gray. Gray floor, gray road, gray sky, gray buildings. Uh, they should rename Japan to Grey Pan. Why is everything just grey? Have you considered buying an Akia? No, thank you. Definitely don't want to do that anymore. I can't believe I actually thought about doing it. It would be such a waste of money. I don't want to fix up a house. I don't want to live in the middle of nowhere in Japan. If I live in Japan, I want to live, I don't know, somewhere like one of these apartment blocks near a train station. Oh, I think I need to sit down. Oh my God. Oh, my back and my knees. The biggest pain is in your back, for some reason. <sighs> have a break. I really should have bought some chocolate bars or something. I didn't bring anything. Oh, why is it so windy? If you made a country, what would it be called? How about Dangerland? <laughs> Dan or Danland? Dankerland. It's got to have Dan in it. Where on earth are you going? I'm going to Kyoto, the capital of culture. Oh, it's going red. I'll wait until it goes green again. When can I take you clothes shopping? 
I think I'm okay with my clothes. I don't really care anymore. Look, I'm wearing three layers. The blue layer is all drenched in sweat. Get a sponsor from a sneaker producer. Yeah, I could buy a very specialised shoe for walking. I wonder if it actually makes a difference. Because I think my shoes are good. They've got very spongy bottoms. But my ankles still hurt. On the side, a little bit. And my toes start to hurt a bit. And my knees. Wow, 200 viewers. Glad you could all be here. My death march to Kyoto. We get to Kyoto and then I turn back around and walk back home. Damn. Japanese high school girls. shoes you wear. I'm wearing Vans. Look how thick. The hills are pretty thick. It makes me taller. 5 foot 11. They're going brown, the white bottoms. Ah, that guy was so annoying. I moved to the right because I thought he was on the left and then he moves back into the right without even looking up. A zombie walking with his phone. I notice people do the zombie phone walk less than in Thailand. It's much worse in Thailand, everyone's just staring at their phones all the time. My girlfriend's on the phone all the time as well, it annoys me. We go on a date or we go on like a trip and she's on her phone all the time and I keep having to tell her to put your phone away. It was even worse when she had this job around Christmas or before Christmas. She had this job as like a real estate agent, but she was on the phone all the time listening to meetings. And it was like a group chat meeting with a woman speaking and about 10 other people in the group phone chat. And then every fucking evening, she'd be on this phone call during dinner. So annoying. So I want to watch a movie together. We've got a movie on and she's listening to some phone call. And it's just like some woman, I don't know, giving like a business marketing speech. God, it's so annoying. If you try going out on a trip with someone and they're always on the phone chatting. I hate it. It's really rude as well. I went to Kang Peng Pet and we were walking around these ancient ruins and she was on her phone the whole time. I think Thai people are really addicted to their phones. They're also always phoning each other. Her mum would phone almost every day for no reason. The mum would just phone up and be like, so what are you doing? Uh, Really disruptive. Also, whilst driving, always getting phone calls. I uh, really, that's one thing I don't like about Thailand the phone culture. It's not just my girlfriend, I think it's like all Thai people in general are the same. You can't put the phone down for one second. God damn, bending over right in front of me.
what dates on meaningless. Apparently he got stood up on his date and now he's mad. I think he just made it up. Well, the whole date story. Damn, see how thick her legs were? One of her legs were like two of mine put together. He hates Japan, he hates me. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, in real life that's spinning really quickly, but on the camera you can see the individual blades. Have you seen that guy who lives in Manchester? His name is Charlie Veach. People were talking about him when I was in Manchester. That guy just walks around Manchester City filming people fighting and the police tackling people. It's wild. I don't know how his channel doesn't get banned because it's just like people fighting and yelling and screaming, police brutality. Crazy. I saw one of his shorts, he goes into like a McDonald's and then the McDonald's staff, this fat Asian guy, is pinning this black guy on the ground. And the Asian guy has blood streaming down his face and then the police come. <laughs> Asian guy managed to tackle this black guy to the ground. Never thought I'd see that. W for Asian guys. No, the Asian guy was like Chinese, not Indian. And then there was that crazy guy, was it New Zealand or Australia? He went on a stabbing spree in a shopping mall. He killed four people, didn't he? And then he got shot by the police. I think that's the best thing to do, really. Don't arrest him and waste taxpayer money putting him in jail, just shoot him. He's killed a load of people already, just, you might as well just end him. Put him on trial and stuff for what? I think in that situation, the police should be able to just freely shoot him in the head. Waste time putting him in jail. The world's going crazy. That was Sydney. Oh. Scary, what do you do in that situation? So you better hope you can outrun him. He was he looked like six foot tall, pretty big white guy with a machete. Good luck. I would stand no chance. Even without the machete, he would destroy me. He'd just be able to like choke me out or something. Or one punch me no chance of surviving. I, the only chance I'd have is if I ran. Push someone out in front of me into him. Okay, we just got to... Stupid Google Maps. Ugh. I accidentally tap part of the map and then it flies over to where I tapped. And there's the thing in Thailand, remember? 
at um, was it Platinum, no Palladium shopping centre. Some kid with a gun shot people. I think five people died. Even Thailand's not safe. I thought maybe Thailand's safe from all the craziness, but nope. I wonder if that kid's gonna go to jail for the rest of his life. He might just get 20 years. I think it was 15 or something. I reckon he'll just get like 15 years and then be released. Siam Paragon. Yeah. I went there with my sister just a couple months before it happened. The entrance bit is where I said goodbye to my sister when she got her taxi. You know they banned Grand Theft Auto in Thailand as well because I think in 2008 some kid tried to copy GTA and then he went on a rampage. So they banned the whole game. And they also banned... What's that game? It's like a strategy game. Tropicano, I think. They banned it because there's a mission where it mocks military junters. I think that's the word. Tropicano. Isn't that orange juice? I forgot. <laughs> Tropico? Yeah, it's silly banning a game as if the game's the problem. I play GTA all the time. I didn't kill anyone. And McDonald's or KFC would be really nice. There's just absolutely nothing here. All the vending machines are on the other side of the road as well. I need to get a drink. Where are you walking to? I'm walking to Kyoto. 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 Perfect pronunciation. It's been four hours. I think I've made pretty good progress. I bet I've gotten it down to 32 kilometers out of 52. I'll get a beer at the hotel when I finished celebratory bento and biru and then I'm gonna have bath biru, hoteru and bathu perfect wow this road is really nice oh well, thanks Jira can you grab me an orange juice is there orange juice here? Oh, bad luck. But we've got real gold. I might get an energy drink. How much? 140. <laughs> Golden drip. so small. Why is it so small? Bad dog. Leave the little girl alone. Daniel, can you grab me an orange juice, sir? I'll get you a... get you a real gold. 
It's got vitamin C in it. Oh, well, it isn't an energy drink. I thought it wasn't. I mean, I thought it was, and I thought maybe it's not. Mmm. It tastes like Haribo, but melted down into a liquid. straight ahead I thought it was and I thought it wasn't and then I thought it was again but then I thought it wasn't uh. damn look at this train track very wide Go to Cornwall. I've been before, it's boring. Oh look, I like this car. I think this is my favorite car. It looks really cool. Toyota Prius. It's really futuristic looking. I think it looks better than a Tesla. That random woman just say to that woman that her dog is cute. So weird. Why does Blood Bucket call Daniel a freeloader? She called me freeloader couldn't which is a cute way of saying it. I guess Google Translate doesn't include the kun bit. That guy looked like me. I thought I walked in front of a mirror. Yeah, it's like calling someone a silly billy instead of a stupid twat. It's like saying, oh, you silly twat. It's enduring. Uh, this road is really confusing. Oh, thanks, bold Les. I'm in Tokyo, what do I do tonight? I don't know. Up to you. How do I go that way? Maybe yeah. I'm at 
and Senryoka Station. I'm in Tokyo, it's my B day. What do I do tonight? Go to McDonald's. Get yourself a big Maku. Very generous. Don't show off people's license plates. No. Show what I want. Imagine a subreddit is googling every single license plate and messaging them. Daniel Lord filmed your license plate without permission. He is very bad, evil man. He is selfish and didn't pay tax and cheated. Report him to the police. He also doesn't wash his underwear. And he picks his bum and smells it. Daniel didn't pay his taxes. And I smell my socks because I like the smell of cheese. This car's blocking my path. Get out the fucking way. I think it's this way. Hopefully my mum can send me £4,000 this week and I get my YouTube money, I'll have 5600 Then I need to find another 500 no, I need another 800 pounds. I'll probably sell some gold stocks. Should I sell gold stocks or China stocks? Oh. My mum just sent me. Four thousand pounds. What your mum as well? Now I owe my mum nine thousand pounds. I might give her an extra thousand pounds as a thank you. Because I'll be rich next year from gold. I think it's literally a straight road until Kyoto. Now all we need is some food. Oh, there's a Gusto. Gusto is usually cheap. Ah, oh, my knees. My knees are gonna buckle. Oh, big up. Bicycles. God damn fucking bicycles everywhere. Uh, at least use the bell if you're coming up behind me. Idiots. Oh my god. Tripped on the pavement. If the gusto was on this side, I might have gone. Maybe next time. Where's blue shirt guy? Bum, bum. 
tan 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 No, I'm not hitchhiking, that's cheating. And too scary. check the maps. If I'm going the wrong way, it'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's just a straight line. Then a bit of a zigzag. Oh, it's still damn far though, look. Jesus, eight hours. Oh, I don't think I can do this. I'm going to Kyoto. I think even by bicycle it would take three or four hours. King Handsome. I'll do walking in Kyoto this evening, if I get there, and tomorrow. I'm gonna stay the night there. Now they haven't banned tourists from Kyoto, it's just some very specific streets where they do the geisha stuff. You're not supposed to go there and pester the geishas. I might have to pee. Eight hours to the border. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time. It's a road trip without the car. And I'm bringing you all with me. See the streets and the traffic and the people. I have my GoPro strap, so when I get the bicycle, I'll just strap you in. And then I'll look at the chat when the lights are red. The best thing about a bicycle would be I get to sit down. My back's hurting now.
when I when my girlfriend gets to Japan, this is what we're going to be doing. She's going to love it. Ten hours of walking every day. If you're going to go, then go. If you're not going to go, then get out of the way. People don't even know how to ride a bicycle. Or maybe ride on the road. See the blue line? It's called a bike lane. Idiot. Why are these green frogs bumming each other? No, it's like a pole coming from his crotch, going into the other one's backside. Disgusting. Look at their faces as well. <laughs> like they're being bummed. Anal centipede. Look, they've got this massive bike lane. No one uses it. Why don't you get on the bike lane? You've got all the brains to work for some fancy company, but you don't have to use a bike lane. Oh, uh, thanks, Chung L. What are you going to do in Kyoto? I'm going to get nice McDonald's and a beer room, and then go back to the hotel room and have a bath. And then I'm going to collapse in the bed. No, I'm not going to Apple Hotel, I'm going to this other one. I'm going to steal all the shampoo. Why don't you get a taxi or train? The taxi would cost hundreds of dollars. The train, I can't talk on the train. If I can't talk, then what's the point of streaming? It'd just be me sitting on the train. So, unfortunately, walking or biking are the only options. Oh, wow, thanks, Chung. What are you going to do in Kyoto? They only give you a small amount of shampoo. In Apple Hotel, they give you a massive bottle and I just squeezed it all out into a, a Coke bottle. I'm not sure about this hotel. I think they give you a regular size shampoo bottle, not just a little sachet. Well, if they really didn't want people taking all the shampoo, they should just give you a little sachet for one use, not give you a massive bottle. Oh my God. What's down there? When I look left and right across the road, I get dizzy. Oh my god. Up, 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 up. No, the taxi would cost like 50,000 yen. It would be nearly $400. Getting a taxi to Kyoto is insane. You'd have to be rich to do that. And even if you're rich, you'd be stupid because you can just get a train for about $20 and it will take you all the way to Kyoto from Osaka. And it would only take an hour. Taxi probably costs How about more going and to take a longer. With a private bar? What? Couldn't hear. But thank you. Yeah, getting the train or taxi is lazy. Ooh, Kura Sushi. Do they have touch screens in Kura Sushi? Uh, sushi? I don't know about sushi. How'd you even get inside? 
It's cheaper than sushi roll. 115 yen for one plate. I'm pretty hungry. Gotta peep inside. Is that a Muslim? Is that a Muslim woman? I don't know. Should I get sushi? Oh, hungry. They take Visa, don't they? Because I've only got... What if I don't have enough cash? I've only got 500 yen. <laughs> I'll have a look. Discreet mode. To number forty. Where? Why is there no sushi on the belt? Oh my god. I thought forty is my ticket number. Oh, we order up here. I thought they didn't do the sushi belt thing anymore. Okay, so... The brown plates are the cheapest, or what? Where's the pricing? Where's the menu? This place sucks. Wait, this is a menu. Well, oh, that one's got the menu, but my one doesn't. Play Bikura Pong. I don't want to play it. I want the stupid menu. Oh, don't play it. Oh, I get it. What should I get? Smeared fatty salmon. Horse mackerel, what? What's that? Uh, I don't know if I want to eat here. Mm. I might as well, since I'm here. I'll get... What's that? Bean toro. Mm. A 
sempre. Salt sauce red shrimp. Oh, this place sucks. I like sushi right. Why is all the sushi weird? that katsua salmon this is one piece of salmon uh, is that a tuna why is it stuck oh my god it's stuck wait I can't take it oh you just take the plate I thought you take the whole thing why is it all wet Where is, why do they put the chopsticks under everything? <laughs> I thought you'd take the whole thing. I will take everything off. That's so... what? That's so stupid. Why would you do that? And put it all back on. Where's my tea? Oh. I've got tea. Sushi Row is way better. Goosefish tempura, chicken tempura. Get one of those. Weird as well. Oh, salmon's coming. How did you get it? Oh. Ah. Sushi Row is so much better. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it was like boiled. It wasn't raw. Oh, hamburger. Should I get hamburger? Should have gone to McDonald's. Oh, I can get ramen. Sure, you ramen with seafood. Rich taste miso ramen. It's gonna be like a thousand yen. I'm gonna get ramen. Damn, I shouldn't have got this sushi. It's gonna be like seven, eight hundred yen. I'm looking sweaty. What's that? Magu taku. It's not very good. Don't come to Kura Sushi. Where's my fried chicken? Finger. It's like a frozen chicken thing from Tesco's. Thank you. 
At least you get free tea. Look, I don't get it. it. Says put your plates down there, but how do they know how many plates you've had? I guess they know when you put the plate in. The tea's quite nice. It's better than sushi or the tea. Coming up. Oh, how do I take it? My ramen. What's that? Where are the noodles? Ramen. Ramen at the sushi place. So there's barely anything in here. Look how small it is. It's better than the sushi. Oh, we get an egg as well. Oh, hi, blood bucket. We're walking to Kyoto. Halfway there. I can see someone's face in the little gap. I can just see her mouth. It's weird. <laughs> Carb loading.
put your cam on the belt so we can see the round trip. <laughs> I'll get in trouble. Didn't they say they were going to sue Tika or Sam for doing that? I think he said Sushiro threatened legal action if he didn't take it down. See the kitchen. I think I'm full up. drinking salt water. What's the point? It's just going to dehydrate me. <sighs> Maybe I get one more sushi. I think I'm good. How do I pay? Uh, they have natto sushi. Finish my tea. I can't hear anything they're saying because of the face mask. What do you want? Hey. Payment went through. Run. 
Oh my god, that meal sucked so much. Why did I listen to the stupid haters whining at me about getting McDonald's? That was the worst meal I ever had. Rubbish. And it was more expensive, 800 and something. Never come to Kura Sushi. The sushi's not good. Sushi row is way better. Okay, we got 32 kilometers until we get to Kyoto. Gotta walk straight a bit and then cross over a train track. Oh my god. I'm at the Tower of the Sun. I'm like right next to the Tower of the Sun. We've only walked to the place we walked to last time. Oh, I can't rotate it, why not? Why is it not letting me rotate? Okay, let's go. Very disappointing. I've also not made any progress more than when we walked to the Tower of the Sun. So that's about 20 kilometers. I've got about 30 left. <sighs> that wasn't exactly what I imagined as a nice meal to have on the way to Kyoto. Ramen, boring. Salmon sushi was not even raw. <coughs> it's gonna take forever. Well, it's been five hours, take another five hours. I might have to get a bicycle at some point. Oh wow, thanks Gia, sorry you had to eat there. Yeah, it was a bit disappointing. The fried chicken just tastes like a frozen supermarket thing they put in the microwave. No wonder it's cheap. I think we can speed up a bit now. I'm energized. The tuna was all wet and slimy. The McDonald's is way better. Oh well, at least I got 1% cash back. So that's 8 yen. Oh look, a little shoe. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry you had to eat there. I hope you don't shit yourself on your way to Kyoto. Get a nice bento for the hotel room. It's gonna get dark in about half an hour. I'm, I need to pee, but I'm hoping I'll sweat it out through my skin instead of having to go to the toilet. Cross here. Oh, I cross under it. Good idea. Yeah, I do not recommend going to Kura Sushi. Get sushi roll instead. The sushi roll sushi is way better. <coughs> How do I cross? Can I walk in here? The 
body doesn't do that. Why can't it just squeeze the water out my bladder back up into the body? Oh yeah, I'm feeling energetic. I've got the power of sushi. Carbs and protein. <sighs> oh my god, fucking hell. Fucking stupid fucking siren. Oh my god. Fucking thing blew off right in my ear. Jesus Christ. It went off right in my ear. Stupid megaphone thing. God, I can't even walk down the street without getting jump scared. Right in my ear as well. Jesus. Oh my god. Why are there sirens and jingles and announcements everywhere? Who's banging the fence? I think it's the wind. Across here. Could do my good the best. No more jump scares, please. My picture. Your picture. No, my picture. Yeah, your picture. No, my picture. Yeah, your picture. <laughs> that would go on forever, wouldn't it? <laughs> Our picture. It's not even a picture, it's a video. Idiot. How do they not know the word for video when they say video all the time? They say video. 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 Walk into Kyoto. Gonna get there very soon. I thought I was taking pictures. No, they said Dorga in the beginning, which means a video. But then in English, they kept saying picture. Ooh, do I go down here? No. Disgusting. What's that yellow stuff? Doga. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't it funny humans look different around the world? But you, they can all have sex with each other and make kids anyway. I always found that weird. I think if I went by bicycle, it would take, it took me an hour to bike back from Blood Bucket's house. And Blood Bucket's about 12 kilometers away. So it's five, it would take five hours, wouldn't it? it took me ages to bike back from Blood Bucket's. I thought it'd be just half an hour. Okay, which way? Go round this road under the bridge. I'm saving money if I walk there. If I get the train, it'll be nearly 2,000 yen. Wow, look. The monorail. <laughs> Save 2,000 yen, waste 8 hours. It's not like I have anything else to do. No more sun tower, no. Although I am pretty close to it now. The most important thing is I'm racking up those watch time hours. I think it's closed now anyway, it's six o'clock. What time does it close? I might go when my girlfriend comes.
starting to get slight joint pains. Joint pains. <laughs> joint pains. I think it's down here. Let me check. Will I stream when Thai Goal is here? Maybe. Oh, I would love it if I could stream myself going to the airport and meeting her and we run to each other and hug. It would be so romantic. But she probably won't let me stream that. She said we could stream, but she'll wear a face mask. Yeah, she's definitely coming end of May. We're gonna go to Tokyo and then come back to Osaka for a few days. And then I'll get on my plane back to the UK. I said we could go to Mount Fuji and also get the bullet train back to Osaka. She says she wants to see prefectures in between Osaka and Tokyo. But I don't know what there is. It's just a bunch of mountains, isn't it? I saw this village Chris Broad went to. It's like a very traditional Japanese looking village. I want to go there. That's on the way to Osaka, isn't it? When is she coming? She's coming end of May. The sleepover's end of April, isn't it? So, we've still got plenty of time. We can go to Nagano. I went to Nagano before and it was boring. It's got nothing to do. I only went there to bang a single mother. Two weeks of banging. She'll come on the end of May for my last week in Japan. house it's been five hours 40 minutes I've got under seven hours before YouTube before I have to reset the vod. Can I get there before my, my battery bank's gonna run out of battery? I think my battery bank's gonna run out of battery before I get there. What do I do? I reckon my battery bank's at 50%. Probably less. I don't want a bike. That's cheating. Mm. I've got my Samsung S10 Plus fully charged and it's set up to stream. That'll give me an extra two hours. So if this phone dies, I could switch phones. Problem is the pocket Wi-Fi might also die. She's still going to wear a mask. Yeah, because she doesn't want the weirdos making fun of her. I 
she's not strong enough to handle it. I think it's this way. Oh, I walk too far. No, it's okay, I can go up. Is that a toilet? I kind of need the toilet. I'll go later. No, I really should go now if I can. Is it a toilet or what? Yeah, it is a toilet. Hold on. Damn, it's a really nice toilet. This toilet is really nice. It smells clean as well. That kid was standing right in front of the entrance with his bike. What's wrong with people? Supermarket. Lost 50 viewers from peeing. Oh. I can't not pee. It's a very fancy supermarket. Daily Kana Toizumiya. Rubbish name. 
I like the supermarket called Orgy. <laughs> still wearing the same trainers yeah they're only I think one no two months old I bought them about a week before I left Thailand walk straight for a bit. <clears throat> I wonder if I get less viewers if my girlfriend was with me. Even if I'm doing the same stuff, walking in Japan. I think it'd be fun, we do like a, maybe a four or five hour evening stream in Tokyo. Go to a restaurant, walk around a bit. Don't want to do too many. So we want to spend time together and have a nice trip and not stream all the time. You'll clam up and no free discussion. Yeah, I don't like just doing self monologue when there's someone with me because I feel like I'm just ignoring them. And they're not really involved with what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's always on her phone anyway, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But she won't have internet unless she buys a pocket Wi Fi. Or she buys a prepaid SIM card. How many viewers did I get when I streamed with my girlfriend in Bangkok? I think we only had about 100 and it was dipping down to 90. Oh my god. Get a new bike, idiot. We went to a cat cafe, didn't we? 
and then we went to some kind of museum thing. And then we walked around. I don't know why I get double the viewers now. Is it just because I'm in Japan? I'm literally doing nothing. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, not complaining. <sighs> we in Japan, most amazing country. I really want to get close to Kyoto. I feel like I've barely even gotten close. The only thing missing really is some good old Japanese girl drama. Kicked me out, cheated. Sold my electronics. Don't really have anything like that. Okay, which way? Now we go, I think that way, yeah. So loud. The main problem is I think my battery bank's going to run out of battery in a couple hours. Check my map. Yeah. It's this way we've got 30 kilometers left. They said 32 ages ago. Oh, I barely made any progress.
the phone can stream for about two hours on its own battery and it's at 100 percent the battery bank can probably go another couple hours i think i've got about four to five hours left on battery and then i've got my s10 plus fully charged but it needs to connect to the pocket wi-fi and that might run out of battery I need a second battery bank. But I wasn't really planning to ever stream outside for more than eight hours anyway. Hop onto the train. <laughs> grow. Zoom. Weird. Riding on the wrong side of the road. your girlfriend been to Japan before yeah last year she came I showed her around Osaka and Kansai Kyoto and Ara I took her to USJ and the aquarium Down there. Yes. I have to follow this train track. Wow, it's like Christmas. I took her to the same Kushikatsu place, that to Elvis Alien too. It was kind of sad because we went really early just as it opened and there were no people. It was 5 p.m. No one goes to eat Kushikatsu at 5 p.m. So we had the whole place for ourselves but it felt kind of sad. It was kind of symbolic. Kind of like, yeah, you can go back to the same places where you were when everyone was obsessed with you but now it's empty and all those people are gone. It's getting dark. Ah, 
never going to get there at this rate. It's been six hours and I'm not even halfway. Why do the Japanese people use English to say bye bye? Wait, where's the train track? I don't see the bikes, the hello cycling things anywhere. So I just get on the train. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Check if there's any bicycles around. What? Oh my god, they don't have any. Oh my god. They don't have any. The nearest one's there. There's a few up ahead. Let me check my battery bank. Thirty eight percent. So it should be able to go for another five hours. Four to five hours. <sighs> Maybe we can get there in five hours. A power walk. No, if I get the train, then I've lost my challenge. Bicycle is the last resort backup plan. No cheating. What station? Oh my god, I'm at Ibaragi. Isn't that the station where the sun tower is? It's a pretty big station. Ibaragi. Get the bus. So I have to go through, somehow through here. You're not going to manage 50km in a day. I walked 40km some time ago. It took all day. What? Oh, thanks, Gia. Yeah, maybe you're right. I've done about 20, 22 kilometers. You're at my ex's place again. Maybe we can hang out. Talk about why we hate you. <laughs> Not really. in case I pass out. Oh, thanks. I'll try.
We just have to walk along the train tracks and we'll get there. I'm walking in the road. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Jode Suharumon. Yuck. Pig guts. Oh my god. Creaky wooden planks on the floor. Oh my god. Everything's moving when I step on it. So how many hours would it take to bike 30 kilometers? <laughs> if I do 20 kilometers an hour, it should take an hour and a half. I don't know if I do 20 kilometers per hour at average speed. Probably do like 18, 17. It could take two hours by bicycle. What do I enjoy most about walking? When it's over and I reach my destination. The only fun bit is when it's over. But you can't enjoy it being over unless you do it. You can't enjoy the nice bits without the suffering. First you suffer, then you enjoy. It's like going on a date, but suffer the boredom. But then you get that sweet poos. And you feel like a god. Yeah, I don't enjoy it, it's boring and it hurts. Just put one foot in front of the other. And I get all sunburned. Check my map. Make sure we're on track. That's my train. Wait for me. Daniel booked a hotel to get free shampoo. Yeah, because if you buy a bottle of shampoo, it's like a thousand yen or something. Two thousand yen? I booked a hotel for six thousand yen. 
and I'll get free shampoo, free toothpaste, and have a nice bed to sleep in. Uh, I really wish they'd ban those stupid mopeds. They're so annoying. 2024 and we still got those stupid mopeds. I wish in like 2100 they don't exist anymore. Like people riding horses don't exist anymore. Mopeds and motorbikes hate them. Why are they so loud? Daniel is not walking for another 20 kilometers. I damn well will. Oh my god, why is it so loud here? Shut up. Damn motorbikes everywhere. Why are there so many motorbikes here? I thought Japan was civilized. You see, in Thailand, that motorbike noise would just be non-stop, never-ending. At least here, there's breaks in between it. In Thailand, if I did IRL, I'd have to be shouting the entire time. Hey guys, I'm in Bangkok. That's why I didn't do IRL in Bangkok. Okay, there's a nice bridge coming up over this river. Not even halfway. <laughs> what? I think I underestimated the distance of 50 kilometers. It's the stock market moving after the Iran thing. Or was it a nothing, nothing burger? Da -da 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 -da. Why did Iran bother wasting hundreds of drones and missiles when they would have known none of them would get through? What was the point? I just randomly laughed. Oh wow. Well, they made Israel lose billion dollars worth of Iron Dome missiles. Wow, look. You can see Mount Fuji. Where's Kyoto? I don't know, he just like randomly started laughing exactly as I walked past. He also laughed in a really creepy way. Like all Japanese guys. Japanese guys have the weirdest laugh. They either sound like Joker laugh or just like creepy incel laugh. <laughs> like that. I don't know why they laugh like that. <laughs> or they laugh like... Am I not in Shiga Prefecture yet? Shiga, Shiga. I feel like I'm wasting my money booking this hotel. I'm not even at the hotel. I think I'm gonna have to give up and get the bicycle. But I don't even know if I got enough money in my Revolut. Ah, uh, uh, I think I need to get a bicycle. I can't do this.
I'm 28, 28 kilometers away. Oh my God. It says six hours left. I think I'm gonna have to go for the nearest bicycle. What do you think? If you actually make it, I'll give a fat donut. What, by walking? I think my battery bank's gonna give out before I do. Uh, how do I get over there? You arrive 1 a.m. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I'll get to the hotel, fall asleep, we'll wake up and check out straight away. I wanted to get to the hotel in the evening so we can get dinner and a beer. It's 7 p.m. I think you're right. If I walk, I'll get there like 1 a.m. Let's just get the nearest, nearest bicycle. Okay, let's just get a bicycle. Okay, the nearest bicycle is at Soji Station this way. I think it's like zigzag. Well, we tried. I did two, 22 kilometers. I wouldn't mind walking all the way, it's just my battery bank's not going to last another five hours and I don't really want to arrive at the hotel in the middle of the night because I want to relax in the hotel, have a bath and stuff. Get some food as well. Even if we bike, it's going to take another couple hours. So let's just get a bicycle. I think I've got enough money because I had 1,600 yen. I spent 800-ish in the Kura Sushi. I don't think it will cost more than... Because it's 130 yen plus 100 yen every 30 minutes. So it might cost about six or seven. I might transfer some PayPal money over into my Revolut. Some of those PayPal donos. I don't get my YouTube donos until April 25th. <laughs> get a train? No. That's cheating. I've got to put my GoPro strap on. Or maybe I just put the phone into my bag strap like before. Straight line ahead to the train station. Too lazy to get a job, but not lazy enough to walk 50 kilometers. Who now who's lazy? Call me lazy. Would someone walk 30 kilometers if they're lazy? Nope. Don't ever call me lazy again. I will destroy you. What's my energy drink can? Okay, yeah. If you make it to Kyoto before 12, 5,000 yen. Oh wow. Let's go! Let's go! Ah. Ah. 
Oh, my hip joint hurts now. My arthritis joints. Starting to seize up. I walked six hours straight today. Now I get a bicycle. The Didi Didi Oh, I see the train station, I think. Is that it? No. You should promote a charity. The charity is the Daniel Defense Fund. The DFF. All donations go to me. <laughs> Apart from YouTube's 30% cut. Do you think Connor and Chris have to pay tax on that million dollars they raised? I think if you're raising it for charity, it's not tax deductible. I'm not sure. Because that would suck. They raised a million, they've got to pay half of it in tax. You can't just get a million dollars and not have to pay at least 50% tax. Surely it's different if it's for a charity. Okay, the train station's here. Get the bike. I'll put the GoPro strap on first because I don't want to buy the bike and then waste time fiddling. The bicycle says, two bicycles available one's nearly out of battery i better reserve that one quick reserve confirm reservation okay how do i get to it This way. Running a bike shop looks annoying because you've got to take the bikes out in the morning and then bring them all back inside. You can't leave them outside. How much was the bike? It says 130 yen for half an hour and then 100 yen for every extra 30 minutes. Oh, it's over there. Oh, it's on that side of the road. Fuck. The crossing's all the way over there. I think that's it over there. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <sighs> so it's 400 yen an hour. I'm gonna end up spending it like eight, 800 to 1,000 yen. What if the train's actually cheaper? I'm going to look how much the train costs from Ibaragi to Kyoto Station. 
what's the point of a bike being more expensive than a train? I could go all the way up here and then all the way back down. Oh my god. Yeah, the bicycle's down here. I've got to get my GoPro strap out. I should have wore it before leaving, but I thought I could get to Kyoto by foot. I did not realize how far 50 kilometers is. Is this one? Or is it that one? Um, H38 47. H38 47. It's this one. Okay, hold on. Get my strap out. I won't go in the hole. I got it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Selfie stick back in the bag. Now I've got to unlock the bike. Charging cable sticking out. Oh my god, I'm panicking. <coughs> uh, 
Okay. Now I get the bike out. It says under rent. Okay. How do you take the stand off? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Can you guys see? Let me check. Check the stream. Oh, it's so nice to sit down. Okay, which way do I go? Set is... It's really weird. Where am I? Oh. Come on, wasting time. The longer I sit here, the more money it costs. Um... Whoa... The acceleration's really strong. Ooh, oh my god. This thing zooms. Whoa... Going the wrong way. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's that rattling sound? I don't even know which way I'm going. Help me. Okay, I go, yeah, I go straight. Oh my god, it's so far away. Yeah, it's an electric, an electric bike. It accelerates up to, I think, 15 kilometers. It's like instant acceleration as well. I don't even know if I can go this way. Maybe I follow these people. Oh. I need to get on the road so I can see the road signs. God damn, it's fast though. It zips you straight up to 17 kilometers per hour. Where am I going? Where the fuck's the road? I think I need to turn I'll turn back and I will go under the tracks. Fucking stupid fucking train. God fucking train tracks every fucking way. Uh. 
Damn, I'm going 20 kilometers per hour right now. And I'm barely even pedaling. Oh my god, I rode all the way back to where the bikes are. I've gone the road. Oh my god, where am I going? Turn left. I think. Maybe I'll put the car route on. Oh, uh, the car route is telling me to go the other way. I think I'd go left. I'd go left down here and then take a right. Get out the fucking road. Oh my god, get out of the way. Why is this stopping in the bike lane? Fucking idiot. It's easier at night because you can see the lights coming. I don't even know where I am, hold on. Oh, I can't get my phone out. Oh yes, I'm going the right way. Okay. Oh, I've got 28 kilometers to go. Is it streaming? I'll try to check the chat when it's a red light, but I really need to focus on cycling. Otherwise, we'll never get there. We've got 28 kilometers to go. I'm doing an average of 20 kilometers an hour. It might take me an hour and 40 minutes. It's gonna take ages. Get out of the way. Why can't they ride on the right side of the, I mean the left side, the proper side. Oh, I can't see a thing. All I can see are the headlights of cars and stuff. I can't see the actual body. Oh, 
I've got to keep checking the map or I'm gonna go gonna go the wrong way. Basically, just head this direction. Whoa! The acceleration feels so good. Whoa! Ah, red light. God. Is this an electric bike? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that car's coming over too. I thought it'd be a nice straight road, but nope. Go, go, go. Whoa. Whoa. Feels so good when the battery kicks in. Riding my bike in the night time. I'm going 18 kilometers per hour. I go this way. Oh, we got a cemetery. Creepy. What's that rattling? Oh. Oh. I think you guys are going to get bored of this. I can't even see the chat. Okay. I don't know why there's no road that just takes you there. There's just a train track. I just got to keep going east. How do I go east? There's no road going to the right. Maybe this one. like an impenetrable wall of houses. Oh, I know what to do. Hmm. 
I'm thinking there might be a road that goes next to the tracks and then we just follow the tracks. I think that's better. Oh God. Oh, here's the tracks. I'm hoping the road goes all the way down the tracks. What do you think? Where am I? Yeah, it should just go down the tracks. I think. Um, I don't get it. I think Google Maps is wrong because it doesn't say there's a track in front of me, but I can clearly see one. Can I go? I think so. buildings. What? I think they go that way. Open compass. East. We'll go east. Oh, 22 kilometers per hour. Wow. 23 kilometers per hour. Oh my god, 24. Remember, I did 50 kilometers per hour in the UK going down that hill. Twenty-three. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Where are you? Where are you? that way. Huh. 
<laughs> electric bike destroyed by my electric bike electric bike okay we just keep going east whoa <laughs> God damn, I'm fast. Go left here. And then we should be going over a bridge soon. Here's the bridge. Oh, my legs are tired already. Even if it's electric, you still got to put energy into it. Otherwise, you'll go as slow as 15. Oh. <sighs> 15 kilometers. Oh, 25 now. 26. 27. Holy shit, I'm going fast. Why is he on the wrong side of the road? Stupid moron. An idiot. Can't even ride on the right side. <sighs> oh yeah. I don't know if this is the right way. Help me. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You can change gears on this bike too. Now we um, forwards and turn left. What? 
turn left diagonally. Oh. I think I missed the left. I think that was it. Whoa. Oh, 30 kilometers per hour. Oh my God. I went the wrong way, I was supposed to go left here. Are you guys still there? He's covered one kilometers in 30 minutes. <laughs> because the stupid maps keeps pointing me in the wrong way. Now it says go left, but how? Why do they ride on the wrong side of the road? How do I go left here? There's so much English in Japanese. Bye bye, stop stop boo. Might as well just be talking in English at this point. They put their headlights on so bright I can't see. even see which way I'm going. Hold on. Uh, it says forwards until you get to this main road. I don't know why so many of the cyclists insist on riding on the wrong side of the road. I'm going to lose all my dono money on this bicycle. <sighs> okay, now it's straight on this road. Okay, it should be easy now. It should be just a straight line. Look up when you're walking. That guy was like looking at the ground as he walked. What's wrong with people? That woman looked like Blood Bucket. She had a shaved head, but long hair on top. The guy was looking straight at the ground whilst crossing the road. Genius. What does the stream look like? Can you see okay? Okay, it should be a straight road now, for a while at least. God, that was so annoying. All the little zigzaggy roads going over the tracks, under the tracks. 
It says Kyoto, yes. On the road sign. Should be able to follow the road sign. Please don't take me on the motorway. Kyoto. Straight ahead. I'm not on the motorway, am I? Oh, we got this going red. I'll sneak across here. I'll look at chat when I'm w waiting for the light. It was a 50 kilometer per hour road. Look, it's just a straight line. I think it's a straight line the whole way there. What, what's that? That's, that looks like a motorway. What the hell is that? It looks like spaghetti. Road spaghetti. <laughs> phone on their bikes, idiot. Yeah, cross the road on your bike looking at your phone. Fucking moron. I don't know why this road is taking me to a massive motorway spaghetti loop. Hopefully there's a bridge, pedestrian walkway. Oh. 50 miles per that guy is definitely doing more than 50 kilometers per hour. I'm doing 20. went red. Oh. <sighs> what are you guys saying? Stop weaving. Get on the sidewalk. If I get on the sidewalk or the people walking get in my way. That's illegal. Kyoto, straight ahead. I don't think I need Google anymore. I can just read the road signs. Under the sea. Under the sea. The cars are barely going much faster than me. What's that green sign? Is it motorway? E1A. 
What's the sign for motorways in Japan? I think it's the green one, isn't it? How many hours to Kyoto? I think maybe one and a half. I think the green one is the motorway sign. I'm not swerving. I'm avoiding the potholes. Yeah, it's a straight line. Next station is Shimamoto. Big crossroad. I can accelerate faster than the cars do. I can get to 20 miles per hour in zero to one second. Watch. 20 kilometers per hour. Zero to one second. Go, go, go. Oh. I'm nearly as fast as that motorbike. Oh, uh, this guy is gonna go in front of me. Is he? No. Yeah, stay on the footpath, noob. Only noobs ride on the footpath. I'm a pro cyclist. Doing 22 kilometers per hour. Should get there in one hour at this rate. I'm swerving to not go into the drain pipe. Slight incline. I feel like I'm falling asleep. That's why I'm scared of driving, because it's so comfortable and relaxing, sitting in that chair. You don't realize how fast you're going. I feel like I drift off, and I start daydreaming. I think it'd be dangerous if I drive. Right now, I'm just kind of zoning out. I really want to get there before 10 p.m. I actually wouldn't mind some music right now. Some bullet for my valentine would be pretty epic. This reminds me when I ditched the Korean girl in the shower and then I rode my bicycle to the airport. I was listening to bullet for my valentine the whole way. It made me pedal 20% faster. Oh, McDonald's. 
Just annoying every single car that drives past. I'm sorry. So, oh wow, thank you. Too dangerous, Daniel. Get on the sidewalk, please. No, cyclists ride on the road. Footpath is for feet. Oh, I can't get my phone out. Okay. Oh, thanks, blood bucket. Daniel doesn't realise his blood bucket. Hey, I have to check the chat. To see who sent it. I know it's a super chat because it wasn't the Indian voice. says no u-turns and 50 kilometers per hour speed limit oh my god ah. stupid bus hate the buses come on guys one million dollars for idf we can do it. Chris will be so proud. Chris be my... Actually, I think I should be on the footpath. <laughs> it's okay. It's plenty of space. The footpath's pretty wide. Oh my god! Oh! The bike wobbled in a crack. There was a big crack on the road. Okay, we're downhill from here. Watch this. 25 kilometers power. 27, 28, 30. 31, 31 kilometers per hour, 33, oh my god, ah, oh, stupid red light, oh. I hit 33 kilometers per hour. Were you impressed? Wait, is it streaming? Right, let me check. Guys, is it streaming? So it stopped. Quick, quick, quick. Oh. The road's clear. The scary thing is when there's a, a crack in the side of the pavement and then the bike wheels get into the crack. It makes you wobble. 
Okay, Kyoto straight ahead and the green E1A motorway, which we will not be getting onto. Should be a footpath. This bicycle is costing me 200 yen for 30 minutes. Mustn't waste time. Anyone getting deja vu from last year? But this time I got a better phone mount. Oh my god! And I got an electric bike. Oh, uh, please let me off this road. It's taking me onto the motorway. Isn't there a normal road? Oh my God. I thought I was about to mount a little curb thing. Ha uh ha, -huh, I'm faster than the car. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, where am I? I don't think I can go that way. Let's say a motorway entrance. Uh, oh, what the hell is that? Okay, I'm not near the motorway thing. I think I just stay on the footpath, maybe. The motorway is not until quite far up ahead, I think. O Oya Mazaki. It's where the little loop thing is. If there's a footpath, I might stay on it. Maybe around this corner. Oh, yo. Yes. Yeah, I think I'll stay on the footpath. Why not? There's no people. Wheel. Oh, not Kura Sushi again. Blech. Disgusting. The worst sushi I ever had. Whoa! 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 Oh, it's hard. They got massive lampposts in the footpath. Look. Oh, so narrow. Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah. Every time the pavement dips, it feels nice. Oh, uh oh. Oh my god. Hit by the bush. I don't like the pavement. It's so narrow. I get back on the road. Oh, that's better. On the road. The road is all cracked on the edge. That's the problem. With the road. What happens if you steal this bicycle? Will they track you down? It's probably got GPS in it. I'm 
I'm not sure what I did with my phone mount holder from last year. I should have kept it. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Wow, they're building some massive overhead motorway. Don't know if you saw it. Oh my god! So close that car. Da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm doing 20 kilometers per hour mostly. So it probably take like an hour. There's no way I could have walked. If I walked, I think I would have arrived 2 a.m. I need a drink. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that noise is so loud. It must be so annoying having to overtake. I'm making every single car overtake me. Do you think it's annoying? Can't see what you guys are saying. Wait until the next red light. <laughs> Losing my voice from shouting. I'm going to focus on cycling for a bit. Does the bike have a rear light? I'm pretty sure it does. It has a front light. Where am I? It says I'm 19 kilometers away. It's still pretty far away. 19 kilometers? It's like an hour. I do 20 per hour on average. What? What did he say? He said something is a kung. What did he say? He said something a kung or. Am I not allowed to ride on the road? He said, get off the road. Yeah, maybe I'm not allowed on the road. I don't know. Why not? He said, uh, a kongzo. I don't know what he said. Something is not good. What? You ignored his indicator. 
Was he the guy who was turning left and I cut in front of him? The white van? Let me check. Is that white? Was it that white van who was turning left? Oh yeah, it was him. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Can't even hear what he's saying. Fucking idiot. I thought he was saying I can't cycle on the road. Ah, fuck's sake. Fucking cars. What did he say, though? Like? You would have been in his blind spot. Well, he should have seen me. I was right next to him at the red light. Oh my god, how am I going to get back on the road now? If I was at the red light with him, he should have seen that I was obviously going to go straight. Stupid fucking idiot. Fuck you. Fucking white van prick. Tell me off. Don't even know what he's saying. Fuck your mum, idiot. Tell me what to do. Is that a police van? It said Osaka K something. Why is he bitching just because I overtook him when he was about to turn left? He should have checked his mirrors and then he would have seen me in the mirror. Oh, that's a big pothole. I'm going to show the footage to that policeman and then report him. Yell at me out the window. Fuck you, idiot. I want to know what he said before the Akunzor bit. I don't know if he said anything before that. See, that's the problem with the Japanese language. They don't state clearly what they're talking about. They're just like, dame da yo, what's damn it? What are you talking about? Me riding on the road or me overtaking you? Crap, is that him? That looks like the same white van. It's gonna track me down. Why am I getting in so much trouble with Japanese people? I don't get it. Uh, can't they just leave me alone? Stupid people. Sick and tired of them. I don't know what it is about live streaming outside. Because when I go outside not streaming, no one says anything to me. But when I stream, 
I don't know, I get all these people mad at me. It's weird. It's like the stream attracts bad, bad stuff or bad people. Red light. I thought he was saying it's dangerous to ride on the road. Ah, a bunch of chavs. What did the Japanese guy say? I don't know, he said something is bad. I don't think it's a big deal if he's blinking left. And I'm like, I was right next to him anyway when he was blinking left, what was I supposed to do? Just completely stop? And then reverse and back up? Stupid, selfish driver. It, take, it will take me one second to pass him. Why is he crying about it? Just let me go. It will take him ages to turn left. Look, I can't tell if anyone's going to turn left because I'm already going ahead. I can't believe he's telling me off. I got zero faults on my driving test. I know how the law of the road goes. Whatever. Just going to focus on getting to Kyoto. I need a drink really badly. Look, look, you see here right now? I'm stopped at the light. There's a car to my right. I don't know if they're going to turn left because they're not blinking yet. So I'm just going to go straight ahead. But then they suddenly put the blinkers on to turn left whilst I'm still right next to them. I don't know what they're doing. I can't keep looking over my shoulder. I need to look ahead. La 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 Where are the vending machines? Really could use a vending machine. I see a vending machine, but it's behind a gate. Wow, thanks so much. Uh, it's so unfair. I see so many idiots doing weird things on the road. And then I do one tiny thing that's barely anything and then I get yelled at out the window. You see? Everyone else gets away with it. But when I do it, no. I get yelled at. 
fuck everyone. Hate them all. Everyone can suck me. I try and be as considerate as I can, and that's what I get. This is dangerous. Well, that you're supposed to bike on the road. This is what you're supposed to do. Look at the pavement. The pavement is like six inches wide. How am I supposed to bike on that? And there's lampposts in the middle of the pavement. Look at this. Look. How am I supposed to ride on this pavement? There's freaking lampposts right in the middle of it. Oh, fucking hell. Whoops. Stupid metal thing. Let me get a drink. I might get a Sprite. Get a Sprite-o. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Oh, my bike's falling over. Give me my money. Oh, crap. Hold on. What's that sound? Wait, where's my other hunt again? Wait, it didn't give me back my hunt again. Hold okay, on. I'll take everyone's silence as a yes. Thanks. What? Why did it start playing sound? Is it still streaming? I think I just pressed it by accident. Oh. Have a little break. Oh, it's so annoying having to manage the stream and try not to get run over. How much further? I think it's about 18 kilometers. What's all that stupid noise? Oh yeah. God, that's gonna be good. Mm. Oh. God damn. Here's the problem. I need to finish this whole drink because if I put it in the basket, it's going to leak. I should have bought a bottle. Fuck. <laughs> Why didn't I get a bottle? Uh, We have to go 17 kilometers. Should be doable in under an hour. Uh. How much money have I spent on drinks? I bought a Pocari Sweat, an energy drink, and now this. I spent 340 yen, I think. Should have just gotten the train. <coughs> I hate cars. They think they're so good because they're big and fast. I'll show them. Uh huh. Uh. 
We're just fueling up. I should have gotten the energy drink actually. Fueling up for the grand finale. about dinner we'll have to find dinner when we get there uh, yeah I really should get a high-vis jacket um, but I don't think I'm gonna do this again uh, excuse me. I think this bicycle is going to cost me nearly a thousand yen in total. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Uh. How do I get back on the road now? Look, how am I supposed to ride on the pavement? Look at the pavement. Look. That's the pavement. <laughs> you can squeeze by. <sighs> Wheel. Oh yeah, feel good now. Uh, that's not too bad. Whoa, was that the bullet train? Oh my god. Look how fast it's going. And the pavement ended great where does the pavement go why is it taking me under this dark tunnel the hell's this okay that's fucking creepy what's that I'm not going down there it's a grape tunnel oh it goes up here whoa the acceleration uphill is amazing Whoa. We're going to be us. Yeah, maybe I should stay on the pavement. This road is brutal. Ah. Wow, it looks so pretty here. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. The mountains and the trains. Let me show it. Look at this. The mountains and the trains. I mean, there's no train now. bike just yanks you along. Wait, where's it taking me? Where's the pavement gone? Footpath disappeared. Oh crap, it's taking me down the tunnel. What? Uh, okay. Turn back. Oh my god, we gotta get on this big road now. There's literally no pavement. I'm going to die.
I don't see any other way. I don't get it. Why is the other road taking me under the tunnel? Shit. I think this is a motorway. But it's only 50 kilometers speed limit. Unless I go... I think we do go under the tunnel. Look, we go under the tunnel. Oh, yeah. That road looks scary. But then the dark tunnel looks pretty scary too. I think... Oh, no. What? I don't know where to go. If we go under the tunnel, it will take us into like a residential area. But if we go... Can I cross the road and go on this little path along the river? Oh, there's a footpath on the other side of the big road. Yeah, we can go. We've got to cross that big road, though. Somehow. Oh, yeah, there's a... I think there's a crossing here. Is there? Oh, yeah, here. That's where Google Maps was telling me to go this way as a pedestrian, so I should be able to go along the footpath. Damn, look at the trains. Go into the tunnel. No, the tunnel takes me over to the other side of the tracks into a housing area, and then I'll have to zigzag through housing areas. I'm gonna go along this big road. How do I cross? Do I press a button? I think I pressed this button. Oh no, they're stopping. They built the footpath on one side. That's stupid. Phew. Oh crap, that's scary. This isn't even a footpath, what the hell? It's just a load of red cones with a dirt track. Oh my god. Massive lorry. Oh my god, it's a bullet train! Jesus Christ! Bullet train coming right towards me. 500 miles per hour. This is pretty scary. Oh my god, I like it. I like it. It's a dual carriageway. It's basically a motorway. Protect me, footpath. Oh my god, what is down there? It's just like fields of nothing. Look. You can just run off into the woods and get naked or something. You could literally just run down there into the woods and get naked. What was that? I can't hear a thing. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. 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 So narrow. Go, go, go. I really don't think I could have rode on this road. Ridden on this road. I think they're going like 60 miles per hour. Oh, I'm hitting the red cones. I can barely see anything because 
the oncoming traffic lights are so dazzling. Ah! Uh, the bullet train keeps whizzing by as well really quickly. Jesus Christ, that thing goes quick. Damn, how fast is it going? Oh, the footpath is finished. Oh, it switches over to the other side now, I think. Oh my God. Protect me, lamppost. Ah, this lamppost is in the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, another bullet train. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. It's the final. Oh. <laughs> I think we're coming to the end of that massive road. Oh, thank God. That was scary. They could have built a better footpath, couldn't they? What is this? I can barely see anything. I can't... Can I? Oh yeah, I can go this way. Yeah, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Da, 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 da. What? The footpath? Oh, there's the footpath. Oh, fuck. Hold on, let me check the map. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Are we safe now? God, that was scary. Because I'm going fast, and they're going fast, and we're going towards each other. Okay, now we just go a straight line. Oh, that big squiggly motorway thing's coming up ahead. I don't know how I get through that. We'll get there first and have a look. I can't see a thing. The road, the footpath is so dark. We're biking to Venus. It's very scary. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> I think it's only a 50 kilometer per hour road, but they were going so fast. I don't think anyone was doing only 50. They must have been doing like 80. It still baffles me, each of these cars are doing such insane speeds and it's a human being behind the wheel doing it all and not a single one of them is doing something that can result in a crash. Yet.
It's kind of amazing. The hell's that? It's amazing how all these people can drive cars at that speed and not crash and just stay in their lane. Everything works well if everyone follows the rules. It's crazy how fast it looks like they're going from the outside. But then inside the car, they probably feel like barely moving. I think I'll stick to bicycles. Imagine me driving a car, I would definitely do something weird and then get upset because I get told off. And I, then I won't even know what I'm doing that's weird. Oh, is this a road or what? Is this a road? Where does it go? Ow, something stung me. There's thorns. This is not a road, is it? Oh, it's blocked off. Okay, how do I get through it then? Oh. Bro. Oh. God, it's going to be so expensive when I get the bike back to the parking station. Taking my own sweet time here. Come on. Stupid headlights, I can't see anything. they got their blinding lights on. I can't see. Okay. Oh, I'm at the loopy loop thing. Oh, it's overhead. We're going to go under it. I don't know how to navigate that. Look at this. That's crazy. Look at this. There's like a load of ramen. It looks like a ball sack here and a long dip. We're going to go... I think... Oh crap, Google Maps is saying... What? What if we follow that man? Um... I'm pretty sure the footpath would go all the way around, wouldn't it? This is orange, brownish road here. I think that's a bike lane. And then that will keep me on the same road. Yeah. The battery's fine. Whoa, look at the bullet train go. Fancy. The battery bank should last it should have about 20% left, I think. I saw this other guy go down here, so it should be fine. Whoa, look at this road! Holy crap! Jesus. Can I stop here? I want to show you this. Look at this. Look at that. 
Look at that. Damn boy. Some impressive infrastructure. Looks like crazy roller coaster. Oh my god, what's this? Look at this. We're going up some weird ramp. Whoa. 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 Low gear. Lower gear. Oh my god, it's steep. Oh my god. Thank god I got battery. Jesus Christ, look how high it's taking me. Oh my god. Look at this. Guys, look. It goes round there and then down there. And then I just follow this road down there. I didn't think the road to Kyoto would be so complicated. Look at all this. Oh, look how high the road goes. It goes all the way up there. That's higher than any building in Maidstone. And they've got this old, weird concrete building here. We're going to Kyoto. Why is he getting excited? Because it's a really cool looking road. You're not an architect's nerd. Oh, we're going to go down this ramp now. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Brr, 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 brr. Oh. God damn. Whoa. Uh, they put all these bends in it so you can't whiz down it. Oh. I would like to cross the road if possible. Alconzo? What? <laughs> I just went, what? Damn, look at the bullet train. God, that's so fast. Okay. This road's massive. No, I haven't crashed, but I got yelled at out the window because <laughs> I was at a red light and then this white van was next to me and he was blinking left, but I went straight ahead anyway, overtaking him. Wait, wait, I don't get it. Wait a minute. I found a hat. If he was turning left, why didn't he go left? He went straight and then overtook me. Did he cancel his left? to go straight so he could yell at me. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. If I'm going straight and he was turning left and he's mad because he was going to go left and I overtook him, he must have cancelled his left and continued going straight so he could yell at me. What a prick. Fuck you. See, that's the thing about Japanese people. They're weird. They get mad over nothing. They can't even speak properly. It's just like, I can't do. I can't do. Don't know what you're going on about. If he was turning, if he actually turned left, I shouldn't have seen him again. Weirdo. He probably thought I was a kid as well with that language. You don't put Zot at the end of stuff. It's rude. Unless you're like talking down to someone. People are fucking rude here. 
no one talks to you, no one speaks to you in Keigo. It's like, Omae dogo totete yoru, or Suru kanzo. Where the fuck's the Keigo? Where's the desk? People speak rude. Rudely. Whoa! What is it with strangers addressing me like I'm a child? What the hell is this about? Branches all over the road. Okay, let me check my maps. Whoa! It's a, bit, it's a bit weird. Yeah, they're really rude when they talk to you. I thought Japanese people were polite. Guess not. Very disappointed. It's green, that means I can go, don't run me over. Oh, yeah. Ah, la 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 so bumpy. Now how the hell do I cross over this road? <whistles> dun, dun, dun. My hotel bed is waiting. Dun, 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 dun. What the hell is this? Somehow I've got to cross this massive road. Otherwise it's going to take me, this road will take me all the way up to... Oh, I'm almost in Kyoto. Look guys, we're nearly in Kyoto. If I keep taking this road, it's going to take me to take me to Sunny's house. How do I cross over here? First, cross this bit. Whoa, my God! I didn't see the pavement sticking out there. I went straight over it. If that was a raised curb, I would have fell off. I guess I go this way. What are they doing? going in a tunnel. Wee. Wee. We're going to be in Kyoto pretty soon. It smells like Kyoto. You ever notice women from Kyoto, they're very old. Even if they're not old, they speak like old women. And they look kind of old too. I went on a date with a few Kyoto women before. And they always just seem old. 
like an old woman. They got old woman vibes, and they speak like an old woman too, even if they're not old. It's weird. I don't really want to date a woman from Kyoto. I hope Bloodbucket is not from Kyoto. No offense. I don't think Bloodbucket is old. I'm just saying some. A lot, I mean, all the women I went on dates with who were from Kyoto, they all seemed old, even if they were 30 or 20 something. And they're very traditional. They like kimonos and tea. Whoa, look at the train. Imagine living there and the bullet train goes past your house every night. That would suck. Wait, where do I go? Cross this road. Finally, take me away from that big road. The big road was scary. It was exciting, but no thanks. I want to get back to a peaceful road. Maybe... Is it down this road? God damn, that road was big and scary. Oh my god. It's like every two minutes the bullet train goes past. Did you see that? Oh, it looks so good on the stream. Look at that. God, it looks so fast. Okay. Calm down. We've just got 13 kilometers left. We're basically in Kyoto. Okay, I'll go down a road that follows the bullet. Oh my god, the bullet train track. They said go down this road. Okonzu. Shut up. Here we Whoa, we're going under the bullet train track. I do not want to be under this when the train comes. I gotta go along the bullet train. What the fuck's that? Meow meow. Meow meow. What the fuck's that? Is that a cat? Meow meow. Ah, oh, Mr. Pussy. Don't be scared. I thought it was a fox or a badger. Oh, this is scary. Are you sure it's this way? This looks like a derelict road that was used to build the bullet train. It says go this way. Well, if Google says so. You've been biking for two hours? No way. Well, I got lost because there was no straight road to Kyoto. I had to zigzag through the residential area and then try not to get run over. I'm scared the bullet train's gonna come in a minute. Any minute. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> We're right under the bullet train track. Oh my god. I think it's coming. Shh. Keep going. God damn. Look at this. I'm scared. I can't see a thing. It's so dark. And then we go under the track, somewhere here. This bit is so creepy. You could, you could bring a girl here and have sex and no one would even know. Oh, he's coming. Oh, it's not too bad. I thought it would be deafening. Yeah, that was okay. I thought it would be deafening. Yeah, you could literally bring a girl here and bang here. I mean, you could literally bring a girl here and bang her and no one would know. 
There's literally no one here. I could get naked, probably. And rub my bum on the ground or something. Which I definitely won't do. Have you ever fantasised about, like, running off into the woods and just stripping? And, like, pissing on trees and stuff, like a dog? It's just, like, a weird idea I had. Return to monkey. You could definitely get murdered here and no one would know. It's okay, I'm safe because I'm on a bicycle. There's no... Oh, bullet train's coming! What? Well, no, it's not a bullet train. What is that? Oh, it's a car. Why is a car coming down here? It's a bit scary. Don't kidnap me! Oh my god! Oh, I thought... Oh, I thought that was a massive dead rat. It looked like a big lump of poo. I think I'm on the outskirts of Kyoto. Bullet train. You can't see it. Check my maps. Why do they keep the baseball field lit up? Why are they playing music? Do, 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 do. Imagine doing this through New York City. You'd, be, you'd get mugged and your bike would get stolen and then they'd stab you. There's no cycling route. I saw Ian from Pete and Connor's Chris, I mean Chris and Connor's stream. He said there's no bike route so he uses a combination of car route and pedestrian route. I use the pedestrian route because the car route will take you onto the motorway. Oh my god. We're going through farmlands right now. Is that a car? Here we go along the track a little bit more and then turn right. We're in the outskirts of Kyoto and there's farmlands around me. I can smell a bit of fertilizer. I think that lump was like a lump of fertilizer. Whoa, look at this. There's people doing track and field in the middle of the night. Can you see? Not there, that's just a field. God, I stink. My whole inner t-shirt is drenched in sweat. Oh, this is finally kind of fun now. I was not enjoying the walk, to be honest, but this is nice, I like this. Nice row, the only thing is I can't see the chat. I really need to get a phone mount. Okay, I think I cross here. Oh look, the cars have the Kyoto sign on it now. I'm officially in Kyoto, guys. 
What is that? That looks like a rocket ship. Can you see that? Where the hell am I? I'm not riding into a factory. I'm right under the bullet train track. The whole ground's shaking. It says... Yeah, it says go... Not into the factory. <laughs> what is that? Kabushiki Gaisha. Or something. Or... I don't know. I can't read the second bit. I think down here. Beep, beep, beep. Wow, look at this. Massive bulldoze, I think. Whoa. What is that? I think it's this way. Oh, it's recycling cans. Oh, it stinks. <coughs> oh, what is this place? It's like recycling factories. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, it smells weird. Oh, there's blocks of recycled cans. Oh, it stinks. Look at this. Oh, it really stinks, but I want to show you. Ugh. It's like big blocks of recycled crushed cans. Oh, why does it stick? Oh, it smells like rotten pot noodle. Okay, it says straight line. Recycling. Yeah, the problem with recycling is all the rotting food content is still inside the cans and stuff. Until they... I don't know if they wash it out. God, that job must suck. It stinks. Okay, we're coming into some farmland. Ooh, this random vending machine there. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I like that. Peaceful. Look at that. Welcome to the fields. Okay, now we go. Kyoto's Drivers License Exam Center. God, there's all fields here, look. And there's a JT Kansai plant. Don't know what they do. We're still 10 kilometers away. I can't see a thing here. Why is my bike so squeaky? Wow, it's nice here. You could run into this field and get naked and no one would know. You get bitten by bugs though. Have you ever just wanted to run into a field like this with a girl, get naked and do it in the middle of the night? No, just me? Look at that field. Look, no one would know. There could be naked people in the field doing it and you wouldn't even know. I don't know why it's so squeaky now. We're still at full battery on the bike. Okay, we've got to turn right. 
somewhere here. What, into the field? Thank God it's warm. If it was cold, like a couple weeks ago, this would not be nice. A kanzo, a kanzo. I don't even know what he said before that because I don't know how you would say you can't overtake me when I'm blinking left in Japanese. How do you say that in only two words? Because he barely said anything before the akunzo. Couldn't hear it. I don't even know how to say indicate left in Japanese. What do you say to say indicate? I don't know any driving terms in Japanese. Oh, we got. Wait. I'm trying to check the map while cycling, I can't see it. Oh, go straight ahead. Uh oh. Nine o'clock. I think this is going to cost me like a thousand yen. God damn it. This did not save me any money. <laughs> it would have been cheaper if I just got the train. Let's turn left here and then go straight. Oi koscha akanzo. Is that what he said? Oi kosu is overtake. I don't know how to say overtake in Japanese. How do you say cut off, overtake? Indicates emergency brake. How am I supposed to know these words? I'm just gonna go on the footpath, I think. Oi, Yeah, I guess he could have said could have said that. That's the weird thing. If you wrote it, I understand, but if you say it shouting out of a window on the motorway. I don't know what the hell you're saying, buddy. It's oikosu, isn't it? To overtake. Ah, oh, no, all these, I hate all these words, like, follow is suiteiku but there's oikakeru isn't there, which is like chase after. <sighs> How do you say undertake? Because you can overtake and you can also undertake. No, I can't see what you guys are saying. I want to know the answer. What happened? Well, I was at a stoplight, red light. To my right was a white van. And I noticed he was blinking to the left, but I went ahead anyway, because it takes me like one second to ride ahead. But then he got mad, he cancelled his left blinker, and he drove straight to chase me and yell at me out the window. Why is chat dead with 200 viewers? Because I think nothing is happening. 
Most people don't chat if nothing is going on, which is basically all my stream. We've done an eight hour stream and there's one second where I got yelled at where the excitement was. way we're in Kyoto now you know you weren't in the wrong but you have to remember you're on a bike he's driving a van he should have seen me I was right next to him waiting at the red light it should have been obvious I was gonna go straight ahead otherwise I would have just gone left already what well, does he want me to suddenly stop so he can turn left. He's just, I think he's just a stupid, selfish driver who's like, oh my God, that bike cut me off. How dare him? I'm in a van. Shooby, 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 shooby. See what Kyoto is all about then. Pretty boring so far. We're on the outskirts of Kyoto. And I better get on the footpath here. It's nice and wide. I really need to get to the hotel quickly because I want to get food, chat in the hotel, make a bath, all before I have to end the stream because the, the maximum I can stream is 12 hours. I'm not creating a new stream for the last one hour or two. I just go to bed when it hits 12 hours. I don't even know what I would have said in Japanese because, I mean, I guess I should have said sorry instead of arguing back. I mean, it's, there's no point, even if it was in English, what would I have said? I can't be bothered explaining it that he should have just let me go ahead. It would have cost him like, whoa, fucking hell. It would have cost him like one second to just wait and let me go ahead. But he wants to make a big fuss about it. Yeah, don't say I'm the one making a big fuss about it going on and on. He's the one that canceled his left turn and then chased me. He literally canceled his left. If he was turning left, why didn't he turn left? He cancelled his left and went straight just so he could chase me and yell at me. Stupid idiot. <whistles> Should I clip it and put nearly died on my bicycle? No, it wasn't that dramatic. The problem is you couldn't even see him because he was to my right side. You couldn't see him on camera. I need a camera that's attached to my head so you can see what I see, not just see what's in front of me. Check my map again.
I've still got quite a long way to go. Got to go straight ahead. Then I've got to cross over a big river. Yo! Oh my god! We're not even near the centre. Is there a Fuzoku in Kyoto? Might want to have to nut one out after all this stress. Not really. I keep having to stop, so I'm not sure which way to go. See, that would have been the wrong way. I need to go down that way, I think. But how? Clear and clear out. The pedal hit my knee. Ouch. It's okay. It wasn't too hard. We go down here. Straight down. They really should build a built-in phone stand for the bikes. I don't see why not in this day and age. This way. And turn right. Turn left. God, my bike's so noisy. <laughs> and then go straight ahead. Ah, this is a nice bike ride. Peaceful. Apart from my bicycle being so damn loud. Go up, go up to the river, how? <sighs> oh, oh, up there. How'd they get up there? Do I carry my bicycle up? I guess I'm going to carry it up. Unless I ride all the way back around there. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, fuck, it's heavy. Oh, my God. Oh, that's it. I'm just going to ride it. Jesus Christ, electric bikes are heavy. That is not... That's not light. <laughs> I thought I could carry it. Like my normal bike. It's so heavy. I'm just gonna ride around. 
How did I miss that little road? It says go up here. Oh, there's a car coming. There's no way I could carry this. It's like 50 kg or something. How do cars, how do cars drive down this road? It's so narrow. Oh, don't tell me you're coming down here. Oh no. It's going across. Oh. How's this a road? It's like a little footpath. Can you guys see anything? It's pitch black for me. I can't see a thing. I can see fields. Cross this bit. There I go. I've got to cross over the bridge. How do I cross? There's no traffic lights or anything. Uh, there's no lights or crossing here. How am I supposed to cross? <laughs> Maybe this car can't get out. Go, go, go. Is he going or what? I think I should let him go first. Go, 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 go. That was a cute girl. Come back. Come back. Damn, she looked cute. How the fuck do I cross this stupid bridge? Oh my God. Whoa. What's that beeping? Uh, I can't go. Can I go? Oh, and he died. Oh. Oh. If I was driving a car, I'd be stuck there forever. <laughs> they don't give way. Right in over the bridge. That car was not slowing down for me. Frick. Idiot. No manners. Frick. 
head. Okay, where do I go now? Left though. Check my map. Why did you choose Kyoto? I don't know, why not? I didn't know where else to go. Bored of Osaka. Let's see if Kyoto people are any nicer. I'll start tomorrow's stream. Um, maybe when I wake up. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I have to cross this bridge too? I probably have to check out quite early. I'm hoping it's 11 a.m. check out. Close to sunny, not really. Sunny's all the way on the other side of the um, the island. I'm halfway to sunny. It would take another 60 kilometers, I think, to get to where she is. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I feel a bit sad. Last time I came to Kyoto, I came with my girlfriend. I remember the Kyoto station. We booked a hotel near the station. And then we walked around looking for food, but we couldn't find anything, so we just went to this cheap place where you get the ticket out of the machine and then we got udon or something. It was so cold. I remember both of us were freezing. Okay, I think I turn left here. Maybe. Check my map. Oh, my ear's getting blocked. Hope no problems checking in this late. It's only nine, should be fine. Okay, I go straight line. Oh my God, I'm st oh my God. I'm still pretty damn far away, look. says seven kilometers easy let's go it's basically just a straight line north slightly go east northeast then north easy so we did about 25 i say we did about 23 kilometers by foot this is so much easier than walking though Walking is hard. You get all this pain applied to different joints in your foot, like the ankle, the toe joints, the ends of your toes, and also your knees. But when you're biking, oh, I feel like I could do this all day. Nothing hurts. And the only problem is when you get off the bike, your thighs feel like jelly and it's hard to walk. Uh, yeah, my bum hurts a bit, but it's better than my feet hurting. I'd rather have pain up my bum than pain on my foot. This is way easier. I wish I had that Apple Vision Pro with the floating chat. That would be so good. I need a way to be able to read the chat.
says red light. But rules don't apply to me. Okay, where do I go now? Are we nearly there yet? It's seven kilometers away. Nearly. Whoa, fuck. Jesus Christ. The bike nearly took off on its own. Got it on first. Oh my God, look at this. Whoa. Whoa, my God, 30 kilometers per hour. I'm doing 25. That was a steep hill. Let's go this way. Will do. Do 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 do. So it's basically a straight line into Kyoto Center towards Kyoto train station. <clears throat> yep. Oh, why don't I see Kyoto on the road sign? Should I kick that guy's car and then ride away? Well, I chose to come to Kyoto because I'm bored. I actually don't know why. <laughs> At the time I thought it was a good idea. But now I'm thinking, why did I come so far? Well, number one, I want more shampoo. So I need to buy a bottle so I can put the shampoo into it. Uh, I'll go on the footpath. I wanted shampoo and toothpaste and also go on a bit of an adventure. Because I'm bored. What? Konosaki Jitenshutsuko Dekimasen. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Oh my fucking god. You want me to carry the bike up the bridge? What? How am I supposed to get across this? Oh, it's another massive motorway thing. Can I go on it by bicycle? Google Maps says go up the bridge. Oh my God, I can't lift this bike. It's so heavy. Why is there no normal road? What's this one? I think if I go back and then turn l r left and go straight, there's another road. Oh crap. There's no ramp. There's just a staircase, but I can't lift this bike. It's too heavy. I'm gonna go back. So I think there's a smaller road that runs parallel that leads straight into the city center. Not very good design, not very good planning in Japan. They think everyone's in a car or a motorbike when we're not. Can I cross this road quickly? Um, there's no light to cross it. I don't get it. 
I need to go that way. What? How do I go? Oh, there's a crossing there. But not on this side. Oh, yo. So this city is so badly planned. They need to rebuild all this. It's rubbish. I tried lifting the bike earlier. It's really heavy. It's not a normal bicycle. I can lift a normal bicycle, not this one. Come on, let me cross. I built my hotel right near the big station. So I can easily get back to Osaka. How long's the stream been going? Ooh, look at all these love hotels. Very fancy. God, I'm so jealous. All the lucky guys get in action tonight. I've just got my hand. I should be able to go straight down this road without being run over. I think I go straight ahead. Oh, my bum hurts. <sighs> Air out my bum. I think this bike weighs more than 30 kg. It's more like 40 kg. It's also awkward to hold. There's nowhere to easily grab it. Why is there no noise? Like a little beep. Can't do it. 
I can't believe we walked halfway and then biked all the way to Kyoto. Crazy. Ah, oh, thank God, this road has a nice footpath. We can take this all the way into Kyoto Station now. Oh yeah. The final run. The final leg. We made it. 52 kilometers. Why are they walking in the cycle path? Stupid idiot. I gotta be careful, my voice is pretty loud. Because <laughs> it's night time. They might hear. Imagine he's chasing me and running faster than I'm pedaling. I'm only going 16 kilometers per hour. I think you could probably sprint and catch up with me. I don't know why it's a, it doesn't say Kyoto Station on the road signs. Why is he jogging in the cycle lane? Get the fuck out the cycle lane, idiot. Okay, let me check the map. Ah. We just have to go in a completely straight line for six kilometers, easy. We did it, guys. How much is this bike gonna cost me? I need to transfer some money from my PayPal. I might have to take more money out of my bank account and go overdraft, deeper into debt. It's okay. It's a business investment. Why is it not going green? Still not going green. What? Oh, it's still not green. The suspension on the seat is very nice, very springy. Oh yeah, nice footpath all the way over this bridge. Why are there a lot of white people playing football? That goalkeeper was white. What the hell? Is this where the Australian guy trains? Well, that guy's white as well, what the hell? 
But why are they playing practicing football? 9pm. Damn, this is steep. Come on, battery. I'm not doing the work, you do it. I would not be able to ride up this without the battery. I've got it on lowest gear. How do you ring the bell? It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. The bell's broken. Ah, it's a nice road. I'm glad we came this way. The other one sucked. Nice pavement here. Very nice. Very good. Good job. That's what the American guy says every hour. This is very good, very nice. Wow. He says, hello, I'm Tom. Welcome to our first lesson. My name's Tom. Or is it John? Oh my God, 30 kilometers per hour. Oh, we're doing nearly 27. How come I could do, I swear I could do like 45 in the UK. I think the UK just has way steeper hills. Remember I did a Twitch live stream in the UK, biking, and I did like 50 kilometers per hour. I can't get those speeds here because the road is so flat. The bike battery is down to 75%. I feel like my voice is echoing. Bum, ba da bum, bum, ba. Bum, 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 ba, bum. Ba, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. I think four kilometers left. We're nearly there. We're gonna make it. I want a bento and a biru. We're gonna make it to Kyoto.
ta ta da da God, this is taking ages. Come on. Oh my god, flying anywhere in my face. Oh, what? Nintendo? Is that Nintendo building? Look. That's the Nintendo building. Can't see it. Nintendo. Is that the headquarters? Are they headquartered in Kyoto? Nice. Surely that's not the headquarters. It's just like an office. They are? What? That's the headquarters? Wow, they're making all the Mario stuff. Let's go over nearly there. Let me check my map. Nintendo fell off. Uh, we're still a couple of kilometers away. But we're nearly at Kyoto Main Station. I'm not staying at Kyoto Main Station. I'm staying next to Omiya. Slightly north of Kyoto. And then tomorrow, we got all day, all day to explore Kyoto. Probably do it on foot, not by bicycle. The bike's expensive if you ride it for too long. I'm scared how much it's gonna cost me. Uh, how do I go forwards? What? Oh, this way. <coughs> I wonder what convinced Daniel to go to Kyoto. Well, to be honest, I thought I could walk here and I thought it'd be cool if I said, if I could say I walked to Kyoto. Kobe was much closer, I guess. And also, I wanted a change of scenery and I want to get some shampoo and toothpaste. So the hotel cost me 34 pounds I think the bike's going to cost me about £15, food and drink so far £10, so, so far I spent £60. And then to get back tomorrow would be like another £15 maybe, so all in all it'll probably be like £70 for one night stay in Kyoto, food and travel. I don't know if the stream today and tomorrow will pay for it. Should be able to break even at least. Because I have no idea what else to do. You won't see me walk around number for 10 hours again. You gotta change things up a little bit. Because I'm going crazy getting stuck, being stuck in that guest house room. We need to do something.
Go quick. Oh. Oh. Nearly stopped me by the red light. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Twelve hour stream in Kyoto. What are we gonna do? I don't wanna go to the same place as I went to last year. So, no Fushimi Inari, no Arashiyama, no Kiyomizu Dera. Been there already. Boring. Oh, I can see the Kyoto Tower. The red thing. Why the hell are we wearing a face mask in the middle of the night, walking down a completely empty street? People are weird. Literally makes no sense. Just wear a scarf if you're cold. Oh my god, how do I cross? Don't tell me I've got to go up the bridge. I'll piss off. I'm not going on that bridge. What? I'm going to have to go on the road, I think. King Kakuji. I went there last year. Is it that the golden temple? I think there's a castle or a market or something. I don't know. I just wander around aimlessly for 10 hours. Kyoto sucks, there's no bike lane. Why do you always talk about willies and then bum holes on your channel in Discord? That's really gay. It wasn't me, it's you guys. You keep asking me about it. There's no bike lane and there's no ramp up these steps. Maybe there's a lane on the other side. Are they gaijin? I don't see a way to cross this road. I think they were Korean. Look, there's nowhere to cross this road! What? How am I supposed to get over this stupid road? Um... Damn, my hotel is kind of far from Kyoto Station. Maybe if I go down this one, turn left, there might be a crossing. Wheel. Wheel. Aha, here's the crossing. Just in time. Green, green. Don't mind if I do. We're basically near the very center of Kyoto. Looks amazing. I think that's Kyoto Tower, that little red thing. What would you do if you hear two men moaning in bed shaking in the next room at the hotel? Would you put your ears to the wall and get turned on? 
I'd bust down the door and join them. I want to be sandwiched. Oh, is this Kyoto Station? Oh, this is Eon Mall. Kyoto Station is like a big square. I'm gonna get weird nostalgia from last year. I think me and my girlfriend stayed here, was it one night or two nights? Wow. Where's the good nightlife in Kyoto? I feel like they don't even have nightlife in Kyoto. I feel like everyone here is really serious and traditional. Not sleazy like Dortonbori. Kyoto is a place of culture and tradition and civilized people. No fuzoku here. Am I right? Where the hell is the train station? Oh, it's right there, I think. Yeah, it's over there. Should we go and check it out? Quickly. Fuzoku in what? No, don't tell me. I'm not going. Don't tempt me with the Kyoto girls. Arriving at Kyoto Station. Wow, is that a bar? British pub. Why does it look different? Kyoto Station. Oh yeah, I remember now. I was getting it confused with another station. Oh, that's not my hotel, Ibis Styles. I got a different Ibis Styles. But this is where me and my girlfriend came last year. Can I ride my bike into the station? I guess not. This is not how I remembered it. Yeah, I came with my girlfriend here before she knew I was a YouTuber. It's not very interesting to look at. <laughs> I'll ride the bike through the train station. Okay, let's go to the hotel. The hotel is still two kilometers away. I've got to go through the train station. No, no, there's no way I can put a bike, push a bike through the train station. I actually think I'm not allowed to ride my bike here. Am I? You used to say on stream that if the Australian guy's willy was waving in front of you, you would give it a little suck and make it all nice and wet and slip it inside while watching it go in and out. Yeah. Does this still stand? Watching it go in and out is the best bit. I feel like I'm going to get yelled at. Oh, 
of those other bikes, yeah. It says no smoking. There's a bar full of white people. So I go pop in and say, hello chaps. I'm British too. Do, 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 do. A lot of bars here. They're all full of white people. Why do white people love standing in bars, drinking and chatting to strangers? I don't get it. You never see Asian people do that. Across here. Sometimes the acceleration on this thing just pulls you away. How do I get through this road? Oh, for fuck's sake. What is this? Goddamn staircase. What? Duh, Kyoto really sucks for biking. Why is there no road? Cycle road. Uh. Oh, I'm going to break the bike. Uh. Better not be. Oh my god, the steps on the other side. Fucking kidding me. Oh, there's a little ramp. Oh, thank god. Cut. Oh. Oh. Thank God for the ramp. Is it still streaming? How many hours? Nine hours. How's the battery? Oh, the battery bank is out of battery. We're on 80% phone battery. We've only got about an hour and a half of battery. Let's get to the hotel. I should get food first and then go to the hotel. Fuck, quick, quick, quick. Get food and a beer room. Oh, we're still two kilometers away. We're not that close.
get out of the way. I'm coming through. Hello, boy. everywhere. Why do foreigners love coming to Kyoto? It's not that good is it? It's just a bunch of temples. I think they come here because they don't know where else to go. Oh don't tell me that's the food off the place. It looks like it's got the lanterns outside. It means it's food on the queue. Actually, I have to turn right here, I think. I'll turn right in a minute. Wonder why I'm in Kyoto. Whoops. I'm only here for sightseeing, guys. smell Indian food. I thought I could smell Indian food and there's an Indian guy walking right past me. But I can still smell it. He's like all the way over there and I can still smell it. <laughs> the hell? I feel like eating Indian food now. I thought there was an Indian restaurant here or something. How does bike renting work in Japan? You have to download this app called Hello Cycling. And they have Hello Cycling stations in Osaka, Hyogo, and Kyoto. Probably other places too. They're everywhere. Probably all over the country. Unless I'm completely wrong and you're not allowed to take it into a different city, then I'm fucked. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But ride it all the way back. Where did I get it from? I got it from Ibaragi City. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of the way, fucking Kaijin. Nearly ran them over. That's what you get. Oh, there is a bike lane. It's this. Oh my god, I nearly fell over. It's this red arrow. Yeah, I'm hoping. That I can drop it off in Kyoto, otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. It's the same company. Oh, it smells good here. Damn, Kyoto is pretty dead. Pretty dead. Some of the buildings are nice though. It's got some nice European buildings. I'm 
consciousness is a kaya. Look, it's bustling. Did he buy that bike? No, I rented it. I think it's going to cost me a thousand yen. Wow! Kyoto is dead at night. Yaki Niku. You know, I'd really just prefer to get a bento and sit in the hotel room than sit in a noisy restaurant. Okay, turn right, I think. Turn right here. Oh my god, I've gone the wrong way. What? Oh my god. I had to turn left. What? How am I going the wrong way? Move your hand above your head. Boy. Why, how come every time I do an American accent, it goes really southern sounding? How was I going the wrong way? I don't get it. Wow, that's a nice looking temple thing. What is that? Let me take a screenshot. Oh, I can't get over to it now. What is that? I've never seen that before. Maybe we go there during the day. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Wow! Oh, my balls! Check this out. What is that? I'll take a picture. Screenshot. What temple is this? Oh, that's cool. Cool. Okay, so I've been riding this for three hours. They're gonna destroy my wallet. I'm gonna have to pay for this. It's 130 yen for the first 30 minutes, and then 100 yen for every 30 minutes. So that's two, four, six. Uh, 600 yen plus 130. It's probably going to be like 800 yen. Not too bad. Cycled 30 kilometers. And it was pretty fun, I have to admit. Not bad entertainment value, value for money. Better be a convenience store nearby. I think first we park the bike before it racks up too much. Money. And then we look for food and then check in.
It's my hotel. God damn it. It's still about one kilometer away. I really hope that's the right hotel. Imagine I put the bike back and it's not the right hotel. Oh my god, this is a big crossroad. Oh. Go, go, go. Oh my god. That crossroad is massive. Damn, look at this road, it's so new. It's like they laid it last week. Look how clean this tarmac is. This has to be the smoothest tarmac I've ever, I must sound so retarded. Where's my hotel? Good thing I booked a hotel. Imagine I had to go back to the guest house after all this. I want a bath. Hot bath food. That is the most energetic bye-bye I've ever seen. Oh. I've probably gone too far, I think. I need to check my map again. I bet I've rode past it. Keep overshooting. Oh, I didn't. A bit more. Damn. It's so far away. It's actually really far from Kyoto Station, I didn't realise. I thought it's just above Kyoto Station, not this far away. There's probably nothing around it too. Look, this is what happened last time. I was stopped at a light, the car next to me was blinking left. But I went straight ahead, in front of him. Yeah, I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. I just noticed I pointed forwards. I don't know if they saw me. That was not me indicating. Actually, I think I have to turn left as well. Was I in the wrong? Look, this was the same situation. The 
problem with cars turning left is they turn so slowly. See, look. And I can easily catch up. Are these cars parked? Yeah, they're taxis. Damn, this is a nice road. Very nice road. I see Family Mart. Oh, man. I'm going to find my taxi first. I mean, I'll find my hotel first. My taxi. I could just follow this car around easily. Oh, I'm at the Pokemon Center. They're at sushi, would love it. What lane am I in? In the taxi lane. See, I think I'm supposed to do this. Let the car go first. If they're turning left. But I cut that van up last time and he got mad. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I got yelled at. Because I went straight ahead before letting the white van turn left earlier. Okay, my hotel should be near here. Keep an eye out. I reckon it's at the end of this street. Oh, it's here. I found it. Okay, where's the bike stop? Gotta park my bike now. Good buy a bicycle. It's been nice going 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, where's the bike? Oh, I just rode past one. Oh my God, I gotta go back. There's one behind me. Oh well. Did you ever think about getting spit roasted by two sexy Thai twinks? Not really. Spit roasters when one puts their willy in your bum and the other puts their willy in your mouth. Sounds gross. But maybe getting sandwiched would be funny. So we'll go back up and then turn right and then there should be a bike station. down there in the shady alleyway uh, one more street ahead it's down that street and then I'll go to this 7-Eleven to get food. Easy. around here. Where is it? This is down here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What? 
Where is it? It says it's here. Oh, further. God's sake. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I can't balance. Oh, I found it. What? It's full up. I think there's no spaces in it. But it says there's a space. Kyokukano zero. Oh my god, I can't return it here. I gotta take it somewhere else. Henkyokukano four. How do I? Oh, I gotta go to this one. Oh, for God's sake. I should have checked. Imagine I can't return the bike. As I took it, I took it to a different city. That'd be stupid if you can't take it to a different city. Come on, go, go, go. Go. I'm so far from the hotel. Can I just cross here? <laughs> I think I can. Go in the right, right lane. Like a car. Where is it? Oh, I've gone past it. Shit. Is it? I think it's in a building. Oh. It says it's here. Oh, it's in here? Oh, that's so weird. They put one here? What? Please let me return it. Put it in there. And then I press the, I will lock it, and then press return. Oh my god, 1,300 yen. Look at this. 1,300 yen. Oh crap, I didn't put enough money into my Revolut. What's gonna happen? It says it's returned. The procedure for the settlement was failed. Hold on, I've got to put more money into my Revolut. I think i got enough in my PayPal. From today's donos. Oh, I got £13 donos today. That should cover it. Withdraw. Convert it into yen. Pounds into yen, 15 pounds will give me 2,800 yen. Nice. It said the payment failed. Let 
me get my tripod out. Oh, I forgot, I had to put the money in my Revolut before returning it. Only 13 pounds donations. <laughs> I got some super chats as well. So I got 2,800 yen in PayPal's. The bike cost 1,300. I want to see if this trip makes me lose money or I break even. Yeah, let's go get food. And then check in. Oh, my bag strap is all wet. My legs feel like jelly. Back on the tripod. It's nice to walk again. It took me three hours on the bicycle. <coughs> not bad, 1,300 yen though, it's okay. It's not any cheaper than getting the train though. And I only bites, if I bites the whole way, it would have been like 2,600 yen. Yeah, the train would have been cheaper, but the bike is an experience. Okay, now I'll go this way. Single Muslim lady. What's she doing in Japan? I don't know why Muslims come to Japan. It's like the least Muslimic country ever. Damn, she got no chin. Let's explore the streets of Kyoto. That's a very tiny bar. I don't know why I plugged in my battery banks. It's not even charging. Out of juice. My legs are like jelly. I might go to that 7 Eleven. Oh, I can barely walk. Look at my legs. <laughs> Disgusting. He's just asserted his dominance with a manly hiccup. That guy was freaking tall. Like six foot. Look at my legs. I look like I've been gang banged up the bum. Where are these guys standing here? working here. What do I do? Oh, there's one Japanese one. I might go through the Japanese one. same food from where I came from. Uh, where's the McDonald's? <laughs> it's all the same bentos from what I usually get. I'm sick and tired of, what is this place? 7-Eleven. The 
it's a family mart. Is it not showing me? Combini. Maybe I'll try Family Mart. It's a yayoi. Where's my hotel? Oh, there's my hotel. It's there. Ten hour stream, we've got two hours left for Bento, Biru and Bafu. The triple B. I'd have to go to a supermarket. My room's one of those. I'd have to go to a supermarket to get a discount. They don't do discounts in combinis. Uh, I could look for a supermarket. Oh, I should have looked for one when I had the bike. Supermarket. Oh, there is a supermarket. Life. Oh, they got life. I love life food. Let's go to life. We've got 60% on the battery. No rush. We got here in good time. 10 p.m. just how I hoped for. I, w I left because they didn't have anything good. They just had the sausage and bacon spaghetti, which I had last time, and a bunch of spaghetti bowls. Oh, they have fresco. Why is she scratching her bum? Got itchy bum. Scratch it more. No, she walks like she gets railed every night. Damn, it's so bright in here. But there's no bentos left. Everything's probably gone delicatessen. Oh, there's Bento. Oh, 30% off. That's mine. <laughs> What's that? Fried rice with bits of fish, pumpkin, sakana fish. 30% off too. That was the last one as well. <laughs> mine. It's mine. I'm gonna get Biru. I would like some more protein. Don't have any chicken. Sigh. Did you hear that? What's a chikuwa? Oh, that's weird. I want to get some chicken. It's 
30% off. Oh, what's that? Cheese and bacon. I just want one bit. What is that? Oh, Tory. What's 30% minus 171? Ten percent would be seventeen. I think it's like seventeen, seventeen. It's like sixty yen, hundred and ten yen. What is it though? Tori uh, niku chicken. Actually, I don't want a beer. I want a ginger ale. White milk. Oh well, thanks, blood bucket. Oh, wow, 8,000 yen. Very generous. I'll buy you an omiyage. Yeah, tomorrow's goal, we get blood bucket, omiyage. Souvenir. Where's the ginger ale? Blood bucket funded the whole trip, I think. <laughs> I need to do the calculations later. Mm, should I get a beer? Oh wow, thanks. Very generous. Congrats, Daniel. Made it before midnight. Yeah. Get yourself some cereal, my thanks son. For the, thanks to the bicycle. Let me get a lager. Wait, I can use Visa here, can I? How was that guy not cold? Where's the baskets? I should get multivitamin. I need a basket. Fresco. I'm pretty sure you can use Visa in Fresco. I hope there's a microwave in the hotel. I need some vitamins. Magnesium supplement? Why? I think they have magnesium, let me check. Protein, energy, minerals. Oh. Oh, they do have magnesium. Zinc and copper. I'll get one of those too. Good idea. Wow, 260 viewers. Why so many? I'll get a beer room. Let me get a lager. What's this? The lager. Uh, it says koi. I think that's bitter. I don't like bitter. I like light. Maybe Sapporo. Mm, what beer should I get? What's this? White Belge. Fruity. Ugh. I don't want a fruit. I want it to be light, not dark. Mm. Maybe Kieran. I miss Thai beer. I like, um, what's it called? Chang beer. Can I get Kieran?
hearing. I really hope I can use Visa. Visa. I need Visa card. I need Visa card. お願いしますお支払い方法を押してくださいクレジットでお会計ですねお支払い金額を確認しクレジットカードを読ませてくださいレシートをお受け取りくださいありがとうございましたどうぞ。Everything. Now to my hotel. Oh, I saw the dono from Mummy. Thank you. I'm not sure why, but when I minimize the app, sometimes it stops streaming. Not very good, is it? Ooh, a massage. Aroma oil. My hotel. Imagine I forgot my passport and I can't check in. I'm not sure if they have a microwave there, so I used the supermarket one. Imagine they have one in the room. Oh my god, I need a bottle. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. I need to take the shampoo. 
I need a vending machine. Damn it! Why don't you remember? Remind me. I get one at Family Mart. I just need a vending machine. I need to get a bottle so I can put the shampoo in it. Maybe they sell shampoo here. I'll show you how expensive shampoo is. I don't know if they sell it. Look, shampoo. Shampoo 700 yen, but I'm gonna get free shampoo from my hotel room. Suck it. Mm. I just need a cheap bottle. 100 yen. Come on. Hundred yen water bottle. I forgot to bring my coke bottle from the guest house. Hundred and forty vitamin water. I get a vitamin. See that stupid guy? Uh, I'm putting my stuff down, getting ready to pay, and these puts his stupid beers on the counter as well, and then stands right next to me. Fucking moron. Idiot. Stupid red shirt twat. Fucking fat dickhead. So rude. Uh, he's probably Russian or something. Imagine someone's in front of you paying and you just put your stupid beers on the counter. Fucking fat beard belly. Fuckhead. He was a big fat white guy with massive stomach. Shorts, red t shirt, three cans of beer. <sighs> so annoying. People are so damn rude. Should have knocked all this stuff off the counter and been like, fuck off, I'm paying. Ooh, nice bamboo. Yeah, I'm so sick of being, people being rude to me, and then I do the slightest of things, and then I get shouted at. How is this hotel?
Check in. So your payment is already done, but you have to pay that conversion tax. It's so it just yen. Okay. So from today, if you have any on the third floor, this will be room number three one two. I'll be still. Okay. And here is our hotel information. In case if you feel any problem, don't forget to download the phone to text. And here is our Wi-Fi ID password. Okay. And do you need a toothbrush? Um, yes, please. Is there shampoo in the room? Yeah, it's a little okay. bit. Thank you. And if you need any other animated, there is animated party, you can check it on their site. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you.
See the chat. My phone's really hot. 48 degrees. Oh, oh yeah. I can't see anything. Oh my god, I can't. Oh yeah. Set the stream up. Jesus, my phone is like 50 degrees. Phone's like 48 degrees. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's no mirror. This is the only mirror. I thought there'd be a big mirror. Where's the view? Oh, I can't even see the view. Why did they put this on the window? Can't even. <laughs> The thing said city view on the hotel thing, and there's, this is the view. Stupid frosted glass. Oh, there's the city view. Rubbish. Waste all my money. Okay, internet. The internet's kind of struggling. Great, let me put the Wi-Fi on. What's the Wi-Fi? Oh, why is the password so long? It better be good Wi-Fi. What is it? Wi-Fi, Ibis. Testing. Oh, the Wi Fi is good, I think. Let's see. Is it okay? I don't know why the phone suddenly got really hot when it was fine for, what, 10 hours? It's getting a bit colder. Oh, this looks nice. Look at that. Nice bed. It's nice and quiet. I'm an American guy going, Hello. Welcome back to another lesson. Okay, let me get my clothing off. Damn hot now. Toothpaste. Oh my god. That's the toothpaste. Where's the shampoo?
Okay, let's have a look at the amenities. This is where I make back all my money. <laughs> make back all my money. This is how you make money from a hotel room, guys. I'm gonna show you the tricks. Tips and tricks. See what we're dealing with here. <laughs> Two pajamas, as if someone else is here. Got a nice feast. It's getting a bit cold though. But eat it quickly. So we got powdered creamer, instant coffee, kettle. Empty fridge. What's that? Kyoto Kanko. Kyoto Kanko. Credit. What? Con. Conchebeju. What the fuck does that mean? Got nothing in there. A safe. Why do they put a safe? Yeah, so I'm gonna put all my gold bars. Give you a tour of my hotel room before my bento gets cold. What's that? What was that? <laughs> I can't believe they had to ask me if I wanted a toothbrush. No, I want gingivitis. What is this? I guess it's like a lamp. How'd you turn it on? It's like squeezing up by it. Oh my god, that's bright. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's have a look in the bathroom. Ta da! Oh, bafu taboo. Yes. And look at this. Cha ching. Full bottle of shampoo. And don't mind if I do. That is the honey that we came for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. That is the honey. Then I supply shampoo now. And save 700 yen. Itadakimasu. I don't really want conditioner. Oh wait, that's body shampoo. What? What is the difference between body shampoo and hair shampoo? Maybe I'll take both. I got a nice bath food. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, my face, I look, my face looks like I'm wrecked. Damn, look at my face. A shaving mirror. No, don't look at my face too close. Pimply. Oh, I got pimples all over here. Oh, my hair's looking pretty good though. After all that cycling. Oh, got burned. I think I got burned. Getting old. Your hand is brown. Yeah, from holding this. Look how brown my hand is compared to... That's pink. That's brown. Oh my god. I'm becoming Trump. Look, that's all pink. That's all br Oh my god, look at my fingernails. They're so pink. I'm already getting brown. Jesus. The IRL streams are taking a toll. At least I'm still handsome. Brown or no brown. I did wear sunscreen. Doesn't do anything. Okay, I want to dig in to my food and my beer. Oh, I might be able to open up the chat now. 
cool down to 38 degrees. Must be because the room is cool. Yes. I need to plug in my charger too. Oh, it's getting cold already. I've got a little mirror here. Oh. Nice. Let me get my charger. Oh. Tell me what time checkout is. Very good. Oh, I can't find it. There's a plug here. Oh, it's so nice to have a break from that guest house. Treat myself. Is it streaming? The stream was getting botted. Yeah, how did it go up to like 268 viewers? And then I disconnected and then I lost them. make much longer help him what yeah thanks again blood bucket for the massive 8000 and to mummy did i get any more after that because it was a bit tricky to check so do you want to see my face eating or do you want to see the food because this mirror is kind of rubbish what if i put it here. Oh, where are my chopsticks? You can see my face and the food. Let's see. Ta da! Chopsticks. Oh yeah, this was good. I'm gonna destroy this. Beaver. Come pie, guys. Eight years, seven years on YouTube. <sighs> Dinner time.
เออซันครีมในมือไอ้ไอ้ที่นั่นที่สุดฉันกำลังฟิลล์อัพนะฮะฟิลล์อัพแล้วไงวอชชูฮันส์ไม่ถึงแล้วนะ Tissue. My eye is watering. <laughs> There's water coming out my eye. I don't know why. Have sex with glasses on. That's a good question. Depends. If the girl's really hot and I want to see all the things in vivid detail, I leave the glasses on. But if she's like ugly or I've already seen it before, then I take the glasses off. I mean, if you paid money to do it with a really attractive woman. Then yeah, I want to see the woman. So if I take my glasses off, I can't see anything. It's all blurry. If it's all blurry, I might as well have paid for an ugly woman. I want to see all the ugly bits in 4K because I paid for it. We still got two hours. It's good because I want to go to bed anyway. You always do missionary. No, sometimes I do doggy style to inspect the bee hole. I like how my favorite thing about doggy style is you can see the bee hole and it's like spread wide open. There's no hiding. It's just like there, staring at you. The one eye monster. These are great dinner time topics. 
Oh, sick. I bought too much food again. I didn't need this. <clears throat> oh my god. Is the bento good? It's okay. Oh my face my face feels all oily and sticky. Just eat everything. Um. Oh. Oh wow, well, thanks, Bluff Field. Very generous. I have no idea what this is. What's that? It's just a random bit of chicken. That's weird. Oh, wow, Here thanks. is your daily donation. Have fun, party popper. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, what's all this? Do, do, do. Don't like it. Do. Finish. Now, I've got jetty drinks to replenish vitamins. We have. I got to drink all this too. So I'll empty the bottle. We got minerals. Replenish my calcium, iron, zinc, copper, and magnesium. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good. Grape flavor. Tetsubun. Hmm. Yeah, these are pretty good. It's got five different minerals. I don't know why I need copper. Do I really need copper? In my body?
magnesium and copper and zinc. Why? And iron? Why am I eating metal? Give me that metal. I heard zinc is good for your sperm. My girlfriend was giving me zinc tablets. Become Iron Man. I want to become Magnesium Boy. <laughs> Iron Boy. She gave me zinc because she has a friend who has a boyfriend. And they were also trying to get pregnant, but they couldn't get pregnant. But then the guy took loads of zinc supplements and then he managed to get her pregnant. <laughs> I'm infertile from all the cross-legging. I cross my legs tight. Increases the body temperature. And then I got 12 vitamins. Oh my god, I can't stop burping. Vitamin V A V B V B two V B four V B twelve Biotin Niacin V C V D V E Folic acid and pantothenic acid. Hmm. Replenish everything. Maybe I should just give her a baby already. It was getting very hard to have sex though, because I felt kind of bored. We need to do something to spice stuff up. I don't know what... what. Maybe dress her up like a maid girl or something. Maybe I could dress her up like a Japanese girl. I don't know, I just didn't really feel like doing it. We did it like once every three weeks sometimes. If I become a dad, I think my channel is finished. <laughs> You should stop masturbating eight times a day. Well, that's the weird thing. In the night, I felt tired. I just wanted to sleep. And I wasn't in the mood. But then during the day, I'd be like jerking off furiously all day. Because I'm so bored. It was weird. I had that with pineapple too. I remember the feeling I had distinctively. I was, I remember th thinking to myself, I've been fantasizing about Japanese women for all these years, and now I got one naked right here on the bed, and I've got no interest. What is going on? Things got spicier though, later. I don't know why though. I think it was all the f I can't talk about that though. Crap, I'm gonna get in trouble again. I'm definitely just talking about pineapples. I gotta drink all this vitamin water too. 
you know what the perfect girlfriend would be? Mystique from X-Men. Because she can transform into anyone. <laughs> That'd be so good. I'd be like, okay, can you tran tonight, can you transform into... All of the AKB48 girls every 10 seconds. Oh, that'd be so good. It'd be like you're effing the entire AKB48 crew. All in one go. You would never get bored. And then she trolls you and then morphs into like a fat hairy man. Oh, this water tastes disgusting. Vitamin C, B6, and niacin. I can name 10 Jav Stars cuter than AKB48. I don't know their names. I watch a lot, but I always watch different people and I never know what their names are. There's one MILF actress that appears in quite a lot. I forgot her name though. She's got really big boobs. And she does like mother and son stuff. Forbidden love with her son, who's not actually her son. Well, in the movie, it's her son. Yeah, maybe you've seen the same one. The boy, or the son, is called Kazuya. And he's, he looks like a kid. But he's probably like 20, 30 something. He's got like... Black... The, like the anime, black hair. <coughs> Japanese boy hair. And then she sneaks into his bedroom at night and starts sucking him off. And then he nuts in that. It was hot. I watched that same one several times. I feel like there's a world, there's like a whole world of sexual freaks and weirdos. But, I don't know how you get access to it. I've never met anyone like that. I've always just been with girls who are very normal. Not freaky at all. It's like a secret underworld where you need to have some kind of person you know that can get you in. Well, that Ned guy who hangs out with Ice Poseidon. How can he hang out with Ice but he would hate me? What? Ice is a hundred times more annoying than me. I don't know how you meet these people. Everyone's so boring. He pressed homeless, Hube, and slapped Tezo. Why? What's wrong with Hube? I've got to drink all this so I can put the shampoo in it. Where is Sunny? She's in the shower. <laughs> Not. Guys, I'm in the shower.
thank you for using Hello Cycling. You have returned the bicycle, but the procedures for settlement was failed. Please check and update your payment method. No. A free bicycle. Imagine I get banned on it. Well, how do I pay? Where's the payment button? I can't be bothered. If you're not going to make it easy for me, then I can't be bothered. I'm going to check the stock market quickly. Ah, oh, damn it. Gold is dropping. Come on, Israel. Bomb them back. No, no more gold. No. <laughs> Come on, Iran. Send more bombs. Where's Bitcoin? Oh, Bitcoin's going down to 65k. Damn, I should have sold some. What about Tesla? Oh my god, Tesla's crashing too. 165. I bought Tesla at 220. <laughs> Everything's crashing. Spy is down to 511. Spy's not looking good. 520 down to 511. I can't buy anymore, I've got no money. I've got no money to buy anything. About well, China. Mm. China's being weird. Why is it doing that? Spiking. The China looks kind of weird now. It bounced here. And now it's doing a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus back. Bearish signal. Not a good Monday. If I could move to Japan and then start a business, maybe I'd want to have my own love hotel. <laughs> but I'd be kind of annoyed. I'd be like, I own the love hotel, but everyone is banging hot girls in my love hotel, but I'm not getting any. Why are you staying in a cheap hotel? Because I want to make money on this trip, not lose money. How much have we spent? I think the hotel was 6,500 yen. And then my bicycle was 1,300. And then I bought Pokari Sweat. And I bought... Oh, I bought an energy drink. I think it was 100 yen, wasn't it? I bought... I bought a Sprite, I think that was 140, or was it 150? And then I bought all this food. I forgot now, it was about, where's my receipt? It was about a thousand yen, I think. Bento beer, energy drinks. Yeah, it was probably like a thousand. And then I bought this drink, one. 40, 141. So far, I spent 9,300. Why are you counting every penny? Because I have to keep my spreadsheet up to date. 9,300 yen in US dollars. The answer is 60 US dollars and 30 cents. Hmm. Do you think this stream, well, Bloodbuck already gave me 8,000 yen. So I reckon this stream should cover the $60. And then tomorrow I'll probably buy some food and then get the train back. 
How much is the train back? Let me check. Where should I go? I might stop at Shin Osaka or Umeda. Maybe I'll go to Umeda. It would take... Fifty-five minutes. Four hundred yen. What? Why is it so cheap? Four hundred yen, and a fifty my fifty-five minute train ride. Why did I walk all the? I thought if I walked here, I'd save money. <laughs> I thought if I biked halfway, I'd save money. I can't believe it's four hundred yen to get the train all the way to Umeda, but it's one thousand three hundred yen to ride the bike halfway here. The bicycle took me three hours to ride 30 kilometers. I thought it'd only take an hour and a half. Not worth the money. It was fun though. But it's not worth- why is it so damn cold in it? Freezing. Yeah, I don't recommend this if you want to save money. Just get the train. I thought if you ride a bicycle, you'd save money. Oh, my legs. And I've destroyed all my legs. And my bum hole is very smelly. <laughs> it smells like curry. How do I turn off the aircon? 24 degrees? You must be joking. I need that up to 28 Thailand temperatures. Oh, I'm walking like an old man now. Oh. Oh yeah, I got my own bathroom. This is living. This is what winning at life looks like. Big bath food. Look at the size of that bath. I haven't had a bath in ages. Since Apple Hotel. I really hope the water gets really hot. I want it so hot I can't feel my skin. No, I'm not done with the guest house, gotta go back tomorrow. Oh. Should I book another night in Kyoto? <laughs> I don't want to go back to the stinky guest house. Oh, every time the guy moves, it's like an earthquake going off. I miss living in a hotel, but it's so expensive. Oh, it's so nice. Ah. I... I hate when they do this. Oh, did they not do it? Oh, they did it. Why they tuck the blanket under the mattress? It's not too bad here, but sometimes they really tuck it in there. This chair's pretty nice. What are these stains? Oh, did someone come on the chair? This chair's... This chair's pretty comfy. Ugh, there's like a hole in it. Why would you come on the- Oh, did someone have sex on the chair? Like, they were sitting like this. Were they sitting like this? With the girl on top? Like, the man's gotta sit like this, and the girl's like there. But I don't see how the cum would get under your bum. I would not want to have sex on this chair, it's not comfy. <laughs> I should get one of those UV lights and then look around. This GoPro strap really... I nearly put this in the bin. Thank God I didn't. It really became useful. So what time is check out? He didn't say. Indian... Oh. 11am? Yes! Apple Hotel, suck it. Apple Hotel is 10am check out. Rubbish. I hope the coffee is good. I don't know what coffee this is. Instant coffee. From Key Coffee. Put all this thing, whatever. Yeah, not much else to look at. I'll plug this. Don't know why they put telephones in the room. 
that's annoying. How do I turn this TV off? Oh, they got VODs. Hmm, I wonder what kind of VODs they have. Let me have a look. Oh my god. Stupid... Stupid phone beeps if you unhook it. They got... I can't read it. Yoga. What does that mean? Naga. I don't know what that says. Anime and variety. I think it's like Japanese movies and Western movies. Where's the pwn? Apple Hotel has pwn on the TV. I can't. Where does it go back? Oh, adult. Oh, adult. I can't show it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boobs. Damn, you see the nipples. Joy variety. Shiroto, Fetchi, Adult Anime. Oh my god, Japan's wild. They put porn on the TV. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna look at it. I'll just look at it on my phone if I want to look at it. I don't want to look at it on TV. Don't get it. Why did they put porn on the TV when you can just Google it? Because the scroll feature is really slow, you can't drag and scroll it like a YouTube video. You've got fast forward button times 32 speed, but it still takes ages to speed through. You gotta skip like an hour of talking before they get to the fucking... Well, underwear and socks. Put it, put it here. So when you stay in a hotel, for a long time, it does get a bit depressing. But it is nice to come to a hotel now and then, just for a day or two. Break up the monotony of living in a guest house. It's a nice bed. I like this little wooden thing. Finish my beer. <laughs> oh, damn. That's a good, good, good hit of that one. Oh. Isn't this extra money to buy a hotel when you're already paying for a guest house? Yeah. But sometimes you got to go for a little adventure. So boring in that guest house. I want to go somewhere far away. Go on for a, go for a bit of a trip, and then go back. I don't know why my legs are tanned. They're still tanned from Thailand, even though I don't roll my trousers up anymore. What time is it? Twelve o'clock. How long has the stream gone on? I need to end it before twelve hours. It says eleven hours. 11 hours and how many minutes? Oh, it says 11 hours and 13 minutes. We got 40 minutes left. Mm, I don't 
really want to stream the bathtub because I want to get naked and then boil myself and then just collapse on the bed completely naked and then fall asleep. Can't really do that on stream. That's the best thing about hotel. Disappointed in the rubbish you had to deal with in the last weeks. Like what? It's so nice being in a hotel room. I wish the guest house room was like this. I don't know how thick these walls are, but I don't hear anything. Guest house is so boring. Our stream tomorrow will explore Kyoto. I want to go to that place we came by, the big temple thing. Yeah, maybe the guy fucks the chair. He was like, sitting on it like this like that and then he had his laptop on the desk and he was like humping the chair and then he came on it that's why there's stains on it that's my theory oh I didn't finish my beer check my messages I can be a Forensic scientist for cooming. Maybe that's where there's a tiny hole in it. <laughs> there's a little hole. Ouch. I just hit my back onto that thing. Kirin beer is okay, it just has a bit of a weird aftertaste, like, how do you describe it? I don't know how to describe that flavour. It's got a bit of a medicine taste after you swallow it. I actually prefer ginger ale though. It's weird, I don't feel drunk at all. I think all the food absorbed it. I fell asleep and woke up, Dan, you're still alive. <laughs> yeah. Now I arrived in Kyoto in my luxury hotel room. Thirty-four pounds a night, six thousand five hundred yen for one night. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I will wake up, have coffee, shower, get ready, and then start the stream. It'll be boring just watching me sit there drinking coffee. I'm going to sleep until probably 10, get ready, check out, start the stream in the morning, 11, do like 10 hours, then get on the train back to Umeida.
Yeah, thirty-four pounds, pretty good for Kyoto, and I booked it last minute. The only cheaper ones were dormitories, twenty pounds a night. Apple Hotel was about forty pa forty pounds, forty to forty-five. Why is my girlfriend done more crazy? She misses me long time. But unfortunately it means I can't live with Blood Bucket after I leave the guest house. I've got to go to Tokyo. So I should just stay around whenever, whenever, until she comes. Tokyo will be expensive. I don't know. I saw Apple Hotel in Shinjuku for about 400, 500 pounds for a week. Just get a budget hotel like Ibis, Appa, Holiday Inn. Yeah, we're meeting in Tokyo. We've already seen Osaka, so we should see Tokyo next. Yeah, I'm gonna miss this when I go back to the UK. I like this. Traveling around Japan, meeting people. A bit of danger, a bit of randomness. I don't know why this stuff doesn't happen in the UK. I just end up in my mum's house. No one wants to meet. Nothing happens. I'm going back to the UK because I have to go to my sister's wedding. And I owe my mum a lot of money. I owe my mum... She's going to send me another 4,000 for my tax penalty, so I have to focus on paying her back. I'm just going to try and make as much money as I can on YouTube for the next when I get back to the UK for the next six months I'll pay her back 9,000 and pay my credit card 1,400 and then I want to do something next year I'm not sure what I need to go back to Thailand for a bit. But I can only stay a few months. Oh wow, thanks HK. Can you message the lovely lady Shin from Tokyo? She's keen to meet. Mm, it would be weird to meet her with my girlfriend. Or I could go to Tokyo a few days before my girlfriend gets there. And then meet her. I'm sure my girlfriend would love that. Where's the bin? I don't know. It's a hotel room. The bin's anywhere I want it to be. This room is mine. Girlfriend will be coming end of May. So we've only got half of April and then almost all of May to be free. Oh. 
To be free to do stuff like this. I can't do this if my girlfriend is here. Yeah, as if my girlfriend's going to join me walking 25 kilometers and then 30 kilometers by bike. My girlfriend can't even walk down a flight of steps without being tired. She would not even be able to do an hour. I don't have STIs, what are you talking about? I had one STD in 2014, and then since then I haven't had any. I got tested last year and I didn't have anything. I don't think anyone would want to join me on a 50 kilometer hike and bike ride. It'd have to be insane. You need a bro, like, mates to do that with, like Chris and Connor. Um, so tired. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to meet guys, but I'm just saying, you can't really do this stuff with a girlfriend. Ah, oh, my legs just randomly get itchy or something. Sometimes they randomly itch, I don't know why. And I just sit there scratching them. I wonder how many people had sex on this bed. There must be thousands. It's a pretty nice bed. It's not springy and squeaky. It's like soft. Sink your knees into it. Last time I got a girl to ride a bike, she fell off it and then broke her arm. Imagine taking a girl on a bicycle onto the motorway or the... It wasn't the motorway, I don't know if you saw earlier. We got onto this really busy road and the cars were going so fast and there was only one little footpath on the right side so I had to cycle towards oncoming traffic on this tiny little narrow path. I don't know why my legs still look like sticks. Where's the muscle? My calf muscle is here. But it looks like there's nothing there. <laughs> it's just a flat line. I don't understand why my legs are like sticks. Chris Broad's legs are massive, like massive calves coming out to here. I can't believe that guy yelled at me outside of his, from inside of his car, just because I overtook him. He's been doing leg day every day, carrying his barrel belly. <laughs> yeah, he must be like 120 kilograms. I'm only about 48 or 49. My whole body's sticky. I need a nice hot bath. Wash everything. So what should we do tomorrow? I'm just going to walk around aimlessly, probably. And look at some castles and temples. And go. I want to go to the market to see if I can find anything interesting. How long 
that we have. 11 hours 20 minutes. Oh no, 11 hours 35. We've only got 20 minutes left. Probably got to wrap it up. Looks like I have to be alone without the stream on in my solitary hotel room that I'm totally alone in. No girls in here. Drink my vitamin water. Hope the coffee's good tomorrow. Bath through time. I used to get so horny going into a new hotel room. And then I used to get really depressed if I was alone in the hotel room. Now I'm not really bothered. Just the idea of walking down the hallway, going into a freshly clean hotel room. I originally associated that with going into the hotel room with a girl. Because I, I think my first experience was, well, maybe not. Not when I was a kid. <laughs> but when I, as an adult, my first experience is coming into a hotel room would have always been with a woman, not alone. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone to a hotel room. But now I just book myself a hotel room as a treat. Oh, that's hot. Nice. Oh, wow, thanks, Kale. This blood bucket, sunny stream cancelled. No. Still doing it. I put body shampoo. I want bubbles. <laughs> Look at it shooting out. thought you didn't wash at night. This is not really washing, it's just relaxing in hot water. I don't wash my hair. Well, I guess I do wash my bits since I'm in there anyway. But I'm not having the bath to clean, I'm having it to relax. The tub looks small. This is massive uh, for Japan size. That's a huge bathtub in Japan. Japanese bathtubs are usually like a little square. Oh yeah, fresh towels. Hair dryer. I brought my own hair dryer because I prefer mine. I think my hair dryer is better. I got this one. Oh, it's the same brand. What? <laughs> Koizumi. Koizumi. Uh, mine's better. Because it is just better. Bit disappointed with the mirror, though. I thought it would have a big mirror on the wall. This bath's going to be so good. Oh, look at the bubbles. gonna take a few minutes yeah ibis hotel pretty good it's a nice change from appa 
Only complaint is... Hmm... I don't know, it's pretty much the same. Only complaint is the mirror. Apple Hotel have massive mirrors next to the desk. And, oh, the window's a bit rubbish. Because it's frosted, you can't see out of it. And the booking app said City Views. I can't see anything out of that mirror. I mean, window. Oh, what time is it? Oh, end the stream. It's nearly 12 hours. 11.40. 11 hours, 20 more minutes and we will lose the entire VOD. So I'm probably going to go now. So the VOD can save and people can watch it. So yeah, thanks for joining me on my walkathon, cyclethon. Better than Chris and Connor's. See you tomorrow to explore Kyoto. Gonna enjoy my bath. God, my hair's all, I don't know, clumpy. Well done, everyone. It was a tough day. So, bye-bye. See you tomorrow around half ten in the morning.